Okay. We are live on my channel, and then I'm going to upload this on the other channel after, because it has to get cleared. Alright. So, on today's Fire Pie, we're going to... Eh, no idea, but you're going to be... But uh, Smash Ultimate Amiibo Tournament's going to be running in the background. Uh -huh. Uh, so, Jesse, do you want the... Ch oh, wow, spare... Well, then again, this is on my channel, that's why people are seeing it. Yeah. Should I disconnect the chat from the gameplay? Yeah, I think I should. Yeah. Make it so that there's a clear... Even though it looks deformed... You know what? This is the beta for the Big Fire Pie channel. Fire Pie is going to be a YouTube channel in which there will be uploaded documentaries about each of our lives and random, um, maybe just random video game streams that involves all four of us. So. Okay, so I'm going to set up for this tournament. So, when Brandon gets back, Adam has a story to tell him. You should make the chat longer. Yeah, even, even even if it looks a little distorted. That's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks fine. It looks fine. Yeah, Because... What do you think Oh, yeah, we did. So when so when Brandon gets back, you can tell him. Damn it! Fucking! Oh my god! Yeah, get back in there, Robin. Brandon. Okay. Apparently, the Wii Fit Trainer was really tough to find back in the Smash Four days. So was Marth, and one other amiibo I forgot. They formed her out of real calcium. Real calcium, huh? She's so healthy, and instead of drinking milk, she became milk. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so... Yeah, Adam has a story to tell... My story is that I figured out how to you. I got myself a USB Blu-ray drive. Mostly because I want to learn how to burn my own video- burn my own videos to Blu-rays. Because of the high storage capacity. But, I was doing disc-to-digital conversions on Vudu so that some of my Blu-ray-only movies I can have digital copies of. Alright, now I have to get some of the amiibos from the shelf. And... There's a bit of a story... ...behind me... Uh... What the fuck? Oh, you advertised. Okay. So anyways... The first movies I decided to convert to digital were the X-Men movies, because I have a pack of the first six movies that did not come with a digital code, and then I have, like, the newer movies starting with Days of Future Past digitally, so I figured, hey, let's get the other mov the older movies in. And the first five movies worked like a charm, and I got excited. The sixth movie, The Wolverine, basically the movie made before Logan, like the same director who would go on to make Logan, making a st another standalone Wolverine movie, which came out before Days of Future Past, but... Yeah. Voodoo, for yeah, some reason, it was trying... It was trying to read the disc, and for some reason, it couldn't... It, thought it recognized it as an officially supported movie, and yet it didn't know what the movie was. 
Like, does that make sense? Or no? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it asked me... Uh, like, basically, it, it, it asked me, oh, what movie is this supposed to be? And I told it, it's the Wolverine. And it's like, oh, thank you for your feedback. Doesn't let me convert it. Well... Thank you for telling me this is boring. I'm not here to watch the movie on the internet. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, that's... So... And then, I'm like, oh, well, that was weird. Then, I go to convert the Dirty Harry movies, because I like Clint Eastwood, I like the Dirty Harry movies. I convert the first one, it's fine. I go to the second one, Magnum Force. It tells me, there was an error reading this disc. And I'm like, okay. Uh, like, at first, I think something is wrong with the disc, but then I look, and I see that the media player on my computer that can play Blu-ray discs. That came with the with the player, by the way. Like, there was a disc to install it. Uh, it read it just fine. Like, it, was, it could play just fine. So there was nothing wrong with the disc. So I'm like, well, that's weird. I, then I'd go to a random disc. I went to the last movie in the set, The Deadpool. No relation to the Marvel character. And it worked. And then I try the other two movies, The Enforcer and Sudden Impact. They don't work either. They give me the same error reading this disc. Oh god, the dog is covering me. No, that's... No, 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 that's redneck mode. But anyways... Yeah, it is. So, anyways, I get home from Vol Oh, you saw Venom the other day? You thought it was alright? Eh, I might consider trying it, but I don't know. So, anyways, I get home from volunteering. God damn it, dog. How do you mute yeah. him? Uh, mobile, you just hold the right time and then tap mute. They can unmute themselves though, so it's fine. So wait, he's muted now? Yeah. Alright, so... Fine. What happened... So, I get home from volunteering, and I say, you know what, let's convert more movies. Like, I wanted to convert the Shrek movies, and... Well, Shrek was on my mind. I was considering trying the Dirty Harry movies again. So, I get a, I grab a whole bunch of Blu-ray sets, including Shrek, and then I remembered, I have the Hobbit mo movies, extended editions, digitally. That's the only way I have them. I got them in a sale. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, why don't I put the Lord of the Rings extended editions? Because, or at least try to, so that way I can watch all six of them digitally. Mm-hmm. So, I get my Blu-ray set, and I put the Fellowship disc in. Fellowship of the Ring. It reads. Yeah. And here's the weird part. It tells what? me, this disc is eligible to register all of these movies. Which one do you want to register? And it lists all three of the extended edition Lord of the Rings movies. Wow. Well. So, I'm thinking to myself, well, this is the Fellowship of the Ring disc, so I'll do Fellowship of the Ring. So I add it, and then I go to put the Two Towers disc in. It gives me the same error, can't read disc. Huh. And I'm thinking to myself, so I try both discs, because on Blu-ray it's on two discs. Mm-hmm. And it can't read any of them. I even put the same Fellowship of the Ring disc I used to read it. It could not read it. It's really weird. And I finally put in one of the bonus feature DVDs. It finally lets me either register the theatrical cut or extended cut. The catch is, because it was a DVD, I had to pay three extra dollars if I wanted it in HD. I'm like... 
Well, obviously I'm not doing that because scanning the regular discs gets me it in HD for two dollars instead of five. Mm -hmm. So finally, I register a whole bunch of movies. I try Shrek. Shrek One works, but then Shrek Two does the same thing. Shrek Two error can't read disc. Dang, this is really annoying. Yeah, it was really freaking annoying. So I just registered a whole bunch of movies. Oh, oh, is that the guy that's in the Discord? Um, uh, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, his name looks familiar from the Discord. Yeah. He's the same person. And apparently, I guess he created the... Well, no. He must have had a YouTube account beforehand. How did he join the Discord? I was straight... Last time I was streaming, he came in my Twitch chat. And we invited him to the... Ah, oh, I see. So... Uh, just walking and asking for it. So... Well, this is the first time he's been been in one of my streams, even though this is a FiaPi episode, technically. This will be re-uploaded to be the first, um, Yeah, so yeah, I titled it appropriately. So... And the reason why it's on here is because be fucking... I tried to activate it on the actual channel we wanted it to be on, and fucking... Literally, it's like, oh, provide your phone number, and we'll send you the text with the code. I got the code, put it in. Alright, your account's been verified. Okay, so before you can stream, we you have to wait 24 hours. I'm like, are you kidding me? Hello? Oh, I think I recognize that person in chat, too. I think they subscribed to me because of Amiibo. Amiibo. Uh, I just have to find three more to enter. I think I'll grab... I don't know if I want to put Ness and Lucas, because I feel like they're going to cheat. Uh, Schnick, our voices are really low. His voice is low? Uh, well... Hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Uh... Do I have the new amiibo? Yes, I do. So, well, no, no, like, I'm trying to get your, or, what a, f way to fuck, way to fuck, oh, no wonder your voices are fucking low, damn it, I had the desktop audio, like, fucking low. Well, yes, but your voice is also low, on the stream. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Well, I have your desktop audio up, so now you can be heard. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I can up me a little bit then. Yeah. I, I accidentally muted myself. Uh, Good. I will up me by, like, five. Yeah, yeah. So, now I had... So, yes... Ultimate Ocaris oh, 8, I don't know. Ultimate Icarus, Ultimate Icarus, that's what it is. Yes, I got oh. Young Link and Ken. <laughs> I also got Robin, Wii Fit Trainer, and Little Mac from Best Buy. So yeah, thanks for catching that. I mean, we, we just committed a freaking Mr. V sin. So... Ooh. Right. This is why I always love to do test recordings before I stream, because of problems like this. I had huge fucking errors in my own streams in the past when I didn't test record. And uh, even though I had people to check my content, they're like, yeah, it's fine. When I looked at it, it was garbage. Garbage! From King Garbage of the Garbage it Dynasty, but... I Anyways. remember I was doing a brawl stream that was just muted. All right. Anyway. <laughs> then again, I was the one talking for most of it. So yeah, like what at so Adam, what was it? you were describing the situation with the channel? So do you want to describe it again? And then I can, and then we will do the conclusion of the disc to digital saga because there is a conclusion. Um, okay, so to explain the error 
in the channel. Basically, so, uh, in case you didn't hear me, what we were trying to do was this episode was originally going to be airing on the actual FiaPi channel, but what ended up happening was YouTube was like, oh, hey, you gotta, you gotta enable this for live streaming. So, I was like, what the fuck? So I go to do the enabling thing, and it's like, oh, provide your phone number so we can send you voicemail or text. So I put in my phone number, select text, I get a code, and it's like, all right, put the fucking code in here. I put in the code. It's like, all right, cool, so now you're enabled for live streaming. Oh, but you also got to wait 24 hours. And I'm like, what... What do you mean 24 hours? So, technically, we wouldn't be able to do this until tomorrow if that was our only channel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was stupid. I didn't even know you had to activate it. I don't remember having to do that on my channel when I turned it on. Or, what? No. When I made it. Okay, wow. My word choice was horrible there. But yeah, I don't remember having to do that shit when I made my channel. The only thing I remember having to do was putting in my phone number so that I can upload videos that were longer than 15 minutes. That was the only thing. Live streaming was always available. Hello, mm -hmm. Koopa Gaming. Oops. So, to answer Ultimate Icarus, some t I experiment with the way... Um, yeah, I was just making sure this was on. So, I experiment with how I train them. Sometimes I do the training. Sometimes I have a level 9 CPU doing the training. Other times I have a level 9 CPU equipped with spirits doing the training. So, okay. We are ready to go with this tourney. Wait, I have to stretch this. Okay, so... Koopa Gaming's asking who do you think's gonna win. Well, we're gonna find out. Find out next time. Oh, wow, uh -huh. Young Link, one of the newbies, is going up against Lucina, one of the first amiibo I ever had. So, you ready for the conclusion to the Voodoo Dis to Digital saga? Jesse? Alright. Yeah. So, here it is. So, I'm converting a whole bunch of random movies just to get up to, like, a promotion where if you converted, like, ten movies, you get, like, a five dollar credit. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. And then I'm thinking to myself, so I, I check everything out, I go to check out, everything's clear, and then I thought to myself, I wonder what would happen if I put the Lord of the Rings Two Towers disc in now. I put the mm. disc in, it reads, and it does the exact same thing the Fellowship of the Ring disc did, where it lists all three extended editions. Huh. And then, I'm like, mm. okay. So I put the Return of the King disc in. Error, can't read disc. Wait. And I'm like, and at that point it hit me. I was like, you son of a bitch. I put Shrek Wait. 2 in. It reads. I, no, I put Shrek 2 in. It brings up all four Shrek movies. All four? Wait. And then I have to pick Shrek 2. And then I put I actually got out the Dirty Harry movies again. I put in Magnum Force, one of the movies that wouldn't work. It pulls up all the Dirty Harry movies. So weird. Uh, so welcome at back, that Brandon. point, it hit me. If I was going to do disc to digital conversions, they had to be done one at a time. I had to scan them, check out, and then scan them again. Because that was the only way it was going to work. Well. But I scanned them, and it worked. Uh, Brandon, are you there? 
What I'm the not fuck? sure what. How did he get that? unmuted? What the fuck? Wait, my Brandon's fine. Well, no, because I hear his background noise now. That's... Even though he should be muted. Unless he back. walked up to his computer, unmuted it, and then left again. <laughs> Which wouldn't really I... make any sense. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess for right now it's fine if he's unmuted, but if his fucking dogs start wailing again, I'm gonna fucking mute him. Let me make a thumbnail for this, it's really annoying. Uh, Koopa Gaming, I did not rename myself Fire Pie. Basically, this is the Discord server name now. It's basically our own podcast after after we dedicate after we defected away from Vandelia 1998 or as I'll call him Mr. V. But wait, who called him that first? Was it me or you? No, I called him Mr. V first. Well, no, I thought you called him something else. No, I, I don't know if I called him Mr. Ain't No. I No, I used the term Vandeliaism for des describing any one of his moments that I didn't agree with. Uh Oh whoa, Young Link won? <laughs> I might have to leave again, by the way. Oh. Uh, I left that last time because a friend I haven't seen in a very long time decided to drop by. Go do it. Go do what? it. I'm not sure if I have to leave yet or not. Where are you going? If I do have to leave, I'll be going to get dinner or some shit like that. Oh, so you'll be back. Oh, wait. I left the ice climbers colored from the Super Smash Sisters thing. Yeah. Super I'm Bash Sisters, man. you mean? Sure. <laughs> well, before Brandon no, leaves, that's, you want to tell him what the joke what is. Experience what you told me and Jesse. That's not that's... even at all what I'm laughing at. Schnick, that's not. Or Schnick, that is the joke. Super Bash Sisters. That's literally how Lucina said it. Okay. Super. And Kid Icar Have you played Kid Icarus Uprising? Me? No, I haven't. In the tutorial. There, well, in a tutorial section where it goes in detail on how to play the game, there's a section of the game that talks about, uh, like, how when you run, you'll grow tired. And they were talking about uh, Smash, because Pit was like, huh, that looks familiar. And then he references Smash, and then Lucina's like, I think it's called Super Bash Sisters. Wait, Paul Tana says it? Or, yeah, Paul. Did I say Lucina? You God said damn Lucina. it, I feel Lucina's stupid. Lucina's Fire Emblem. Yeah, Paul Lucina, mate. Lucina is the goddess of light. You said Lucina, like, 15 times. Why didn't you correct me? Because I didn't know what you were talking confused. about at first the in the game. Oh my god. It's like you, you the said, one, one of my flaws is that sometimes I, sometimes I go bozo brain. Well, Jesse, I'm, is woman. I'm gonna fucking... So you for you blame me slander. For <laughs> you blame me for being bozo. You well, slandered yourself. <laughs> no. Yes. Actually. Can't prove that. I just did. <laughs> yeah, Lucina is actually the goddess of Lucina's too overpowered. No, Lucina died. She needs to be nerfed until she doesn't exist anymore. No, Brandon, you missed it. Lucina's already in the realm of Richard. Oh, perfect. <laughs> like, freaking the newbie Young Link, because I got my Young Link amiibo today. Yeah, freaking Young Link did away with her. Young Spink. So how much longer are you going to be here for? Mm-hmm. No, because, Adam, if you have the time, tell him that your thing. Okay, Brandon, you're not gonna fucking believe this shit. So Alright, gotta go again. No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> so, um, I got my fucking diploma today because I'm graduating my program soon, and I mm-hmm. asked for my diploma sooner. And mm-hmm. I get it. And I also I want to clarify this too. Um, oh, I had this win. other placard since I actually graduated Greenway. Um, and it's basically just a thick metal thing instead of a piece of paper. So it's kind of the same thing, but not really. Um, and then I got the actual diploma. I look at the diploma, my mom looks at it with me, and she's like, huh, they got your name wrong. Oh and my god. You're not gonna fucking believe this, dude. You're actually not gonna believe this. Okay. It's so also got... apparently fucking... What the fuck is that character's name? Bayonetta? Apparently she's just an idiot. So Aww, you forgot about Bay- playing Bayonetta on Switch. Okay, listen. So, um, they got my middle name and my last name wrong. How'd they, how, how did they fuck up your middle name? It's so easy. It's literally just the name David. Yeah. Well, they spelled it as D-A-B-I-D. David? Yep, David. Are you kidding me? Dabid. Dabid. Oh my god. Oh, Dabid. David, Dabid. And you know, okay, I want you to guess how they got sheets wrong. Sheets. No, like seriously, no, guess. S C H. Dabid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he says he's done. He. I, is this guy in the chat? How do you say? How would you say his name? Uh, I think Mr. he told me Kill. when it was like very Kill. late in the night, and I forgot. <laughs> yeah, because his "I'm done" reactions like what something you would do. Yeah, Kyle. Oh, and Kyle. I see probably Kirby still still taunts like an idiot. Probably still messed that name up, but whatever. Kirby. So okay, anyways. Brandon, guess how they spelled it wrong, though. Like, actually, you're not, guess. You're actually not going to believe it, Brandon. I don't know. S-K-E-E-T-S? Skeets? No. Well, then I don't know. Okay. So, for context and for the chat, um, my last name is spelled S-C-H-E-E-T-Z. But the way they spelled it was S-C-H-E-E-T-3. What? Yep. They put three. a three in your name? Uh-huh. They put the number three on the last letter of my last name. Apparently, Adam, you're just an MLG gamer now. Also, uh, yeah, probably fucking will probably will forget your name again. Okay, um, I'm gonna fucking photograph. Shnick, if you really don't want to show the pictures on the, um, I can show thing, the picture, I can just but I put have in to the set Discord. it up. So I can just put it in the Discord if you don't want to. If you want to put it in the Discord, you can. But at the same time, yeah, maybe put it in the Discord. Yeah, just put it in the piss cord. Piss cord? Yeah, yeah you stole my name. What? That's what I called Discord at one point. I remember, hands off my bees. Oh. Oh. Hands yeah. off the trees and the lorax. Bees, what do we do? Alright. I need to download the images from Skype because I have them on my phone and I don't feel like doing it on Discord mobile, you lurgers. Crunch. Here's a thumbnail. God damn! (laughs) It's actually just cartoonish at that point. Hi, Lil, if that's how you say it, or Key Lil or something. Burly. 
That's how you say it. Oh, Barilli is how you say it. Okay, yeah, my la my real last name, tons of people get wrong, too. Though a surprising amount have been getting it right recently. I got it, I got it right the first time I met Schnick, so... Then again, what? Mr. V... Wait, Schnick's last name? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, my yeah, real last name. It. But it's funny, Mr. Didn't I get v, you... he never really got my username right. Didn't I get your last name right at some point, Schnick? Like, I, yeah, I think so, times? I think so. I think you were surprised, too. Yeah, yeah, but... No, even when we told him, M Mr. V, the correct, correct pronunciation of my username, I mean, it's easy, it's Schnick. Mm -hmm. He... He thought my username was based on the Snick block that was on Nickelodeon, like, back in the 90s. I told him that's not actually the case. It's actually based on a childhood nickname I had back then, I still have today with, like, my ma. The way Kirby was undulating like that made me uncomfortable. Really? Anyways, yeah, did you know like, he, like, he was warping? Anyway. Well, on. Kirby's Kirby. What do you expect? So I don't think he's um, supposed to warp. I think he's only supposed to ride warp stars. Not him himself is supposed to warp space. Wow, time. this Discord is so empty. It's nice. Oh, so I just realized <laughs> the entire background of the fire pie layout that I created kind of looks like the image of the black hole. I, that well, was the black not hole so that's that your... was <laughs> posted. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wow. Damage C3. Damage C3. Yeah, um, I don't know if Chinnick already showed it on the stream, but if you want to look at the pictures, go on Light or Laid Discord, and you'll see the certificate and the placard. Yeah, I also I want to keep in mind. Go to the Discord. I think. Oh, um, the other thing I want to mention too is the reason why I only got my certificate now rather than at actual graduation was because um, last year when I actually graduated, they told me that I couldn't get the actual certificate, but I could get this placard for now because um, since I was taking, well, I'm in the program still, but since I'm taking this program called Next Step, I was not eligible to get the certificate right then and there. I had to get it once I graduated Next Step. And I'm pretty much through with that program by now. I'm still in it. It still goes for like another month or so, but they just said fuck it because they know I'm going to graduate anyways, so they just gave it to me. No. But it's wrong, though. It's actually wrong. No, Adam, I've had an, I have an idea for the official Firefly server. Maybe you could create a new text channel titled... Um, a new text channel titled... Um, stream interaction where people could just dump a bunch of images relating to the stream and stuff. Yeah, but it'll yeah, have that could that. work. But and Can then I the main area. wrap up some... the Vandaliaism I was talking about. Yeah. So he thought my username was based on the Snick block that used to air on Nickelodeon, like in the '90s. But then even after I told him it's actually based on childhood nickname. He still continued to refer to me as Snick. It's crazy. Well, it's beans. I mean, not that I really cared too much, but still, like, even like it's strange we tell him the real pronunciation. I mean, then again, then again, maybe it's a bit hypocritical because sometimes I'm aware of real pronunciations of stuff, and then I don't, and I intentionally continue to use a wrong pronunciation. But I don't know. Maybe I at least explain it because, for instance, the word Zeno. It's really pronounced Zeno, from what I understand, and here's the weird thing. On the titular Aliens from the Alien franchise, I use the right pronunciation, Xenomorph, because to me, Xenomorph sounds right, Xenomorph does not. But yet, when I refer to the Zeno franchise, like Zeno Gear, Zeno Saga, or Zeno Blade... I say Zeno there because to me Zeno Gears, Zeno Saga, and Zeno Blade, that to me sounds weird. When you say it like that, it sounds weird. But I when I first learned about Xenoblade, I called it Xenoblade. 
so now I'm just like, yeah, I mean, no, like... When, no, when I first played Xenogears, like, I thought it was pronounced Xenogears, and then I, then I see everyone on YouTube pronouncing it Xenogears, I'm like, why Xenogears, that's weird. It's like when I learned that Lakitu, most people pronounce his name Lakitu, but I still think Lakitu is a better name. Oh, you do. But I call him, I don't know, it just depends what I call him. Some days I feel Lakitu, some days I feel Lakitu. And I think it sounds funny to say that Lakitu is Slakitu. Oh, so. you're gonna love this. You know what I... Klasky Chupo is a name that nearly no one ever gets right on the internet. It makes uh, no sense. I need to make an announcement real fast. Yeah, because... Th yeah, go on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, um, so just to let everyone know, uh, there's a thing that I completely forgot that was happening that I was going to do today. I don't have to leave exactly right now, but I'm going to have to leave within the next, like, 10 or 15 minutes. It's a youth group thing that's happening. It's like... We're basically making this dinner thing for some homeless people... Not, like, the stereotypical homeless people, but, like, people that just got fucked and then uh, had to get back up on their feet. It's like this homeless program. People. Yeah, but not, like, the, ster the stereotypical ones. Like, it's not the bums that are on the street with the signs. It's, like, it's a program where, basically, uh, to make things short... Um, people that got screwed in their lives, including families, go through this uh, program that helps shelter them in churches and it will provide, uh, you know, food and shelter, basically. And we're going to be making a dinner for uh, the people that are going to be at our church this Sunday, but it's going to be like a big thing. So uh, the youth group wanted to do a whole shopping thing. And I completely forgot we were doing that. And I just got a call from the leader. And he's like, hey, are you coming to this? And that's happening at 630. It takes me about 15 or 20 minutes to get to the church since that's where we're meeting at. So, yeah. How long is it going to take for you to do I that? have no idea. I might not even be here for the rest of the stream. But um, I I completely forgot I was doing that, by the way. I mean, hopefully so, Jesse will at least be here. Yeah, I'm, I don't mean to, like, ditch it, guys, but... Fuck. <laughs> well, nah, this is not... No, we're not gonna go TTWC on you and freaking make a rant video about how we have to do it by ourselves. <laughs> at least I got my story in, so that's... Yeah, well, that, well, I wanted to get your story in, so... Mm -hmm. I just cannot believe they misspelled your name. <laughs> I still can't either. Like, I could see some people thinking that the number three is, like, some, somehow supposed to be the letter S. I could see people saying that, but even if it was supposed to be the letter S, which I don't think it is, then they that's still wrong either way. It doesn't matter how you look at it. It's still not a Z, which is what it's supposed to be. So, mm -hmm. fucking, they need to fix it. I didn't even that want to go to school. Close. The way it looks even... to me looks almost like the like the character end or and if that makes sense like uh, you know how some people say and and then some people use the character end yeah that, that looks like the uh, version of the character end and that sounds weird because the way i say and almost sounds like end but i mean end and that probably sounded no different when i tried to explain that it's <laughs> a and d it's a character that's supposed to mean a and d Sorry, I have weird pockets. Talk. Uh, I think I... Pockage. Actually... Yeah, <sighs> oh, no. There, I put in the chat. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, you should put in the... He's talking like, about the stream ass? Yeah. Oh, should put... Or make the channel? Actually... Yeah, text interaction channel would be... Or stream interaction channel would be cool for people who are in the stream and want to interact live. But like instead of just chatting, they could add uh, like photos. Oh, I know, I get what you mean. What you put there, okay. Well, mm. the reason why I say have it separate from the main channel because 
say other people who are on the main channel, they would just get it with no context, and that would just look very strange. And plus, the main channel um, is would be used for stuff with a bit more context, like the cans and like the other stuff, like stuff that has like yeah. more context as a whole. But the stream interaction. Well, the only problem stuff. with that though is that it's not technically live. It's like I mean, we still have the delay problem. Well, the delay isn't really that bad. I mean, you'd have to deal with it in the chat anyways. There's nothing we could do about that. But it'd still be pretty pretty cool and interesting. Yeah. Well, I made the channel, so... Alright. So if anyone wants to interact more than just by chatting, like, by, like, sending images or, like, songs, which would be weird, or just something... Oh, I just like realized. I posted the pictures in the streaming ad. Oops. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, that would be in the stream. Let me just uh, let me just repost that in the right channel and then delete the others. Yeah. Nick, maybe linking the Discord would be cool in the description. Linking in the go. description, yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah, for easy access, and then there you go. Where's the link? Uh, hold on a second, let me help you in one second. Yeah, like, just a link to view the channel. Am I editing the description? Description of what? The, the thing. stream? The, yeah, the stream. You can do that yeah. live. Oh, and, and Mr. Kylo subscribed to me on YouTube. I noticed. Yeah. Well, thank uh, you. Uh, just so you know, Firefight is going to be its own channel. Well, the yeah, it is its own channel. Well, it's just that we can't use it right now. We're going to put this video on there. Mm -hmm. There's the link. Copy paste it in the description or yeah, chat or whatever. Excuse me. I'm surprised someone that was here earlier didn't mention anything about him not being in the server. Uh. Ooh. Uh, Koopa Gaming. Uh, Koopa Gaming. Yeah, because he didn't sign the thing and I uh, kicked them in response, but I sent, like, a. Like, in the. Okay, when you kick people, there's a box that says. You can give a reason why they were kicked, and in that box, I basically put kicked because you didn't sign the form, but if for some reason you didn't see it for a whole week, then here's the link to rejoin if you want to be a part of this still. And uh, this was a last-minute decision because Schnick had a worry about... Old about viewers. Like, recurring chat people just being kicked out, and because, I mean, there were some chat people that were here for a while, but then they kind of disappeared. And I was thinking yeah, to myself, what so, if they came and... back? Koopa Gaming's so, yeah. been pretty active for, like, the few months, Adam. Uh, it seems pretty weird that you just kicked well, him. I mean, I know that he didn't sign it, obviously, but he's been active on, like, literally all of Snick's streams, almost. Well... While he is active in the streams, he ha he is he wasn't really active that much in the server itself. Yeah, he was kind of active. Yeah, he replied to lot of the games. A lot more than more so than SS the Lubbard and Marco. They completely disappeared. But I mean, who's to say that he didn't lose interest in the few months his he last posted? I mean, either. well, he's in the chat right now, or he was. I don't know if he's still in it. Yeah, I don't know if he's still in it, but... I mean, if he really wants to rejoin, he can click the link. It's not like I'm... Like, kicking doesn't mean they're banned. It just makes it fucking kick, more... Kick, okay, it makes my kick. member list more accurate, if that's making any sense. You know, if we made a freaking Wikia freaking... I know it's possible to make badges on Wikia. If we somehow freaking make a badge for getting suspended for a week freaking that fucking badge needs to be called kicked kicked you're kicked <laughs> well, anyways my whole point with the google form was just there was a lot of people that were still in the server after i rebranded and i made the form just to see if 
anyone that was already here wanted to actually stick around. So to me, um, it's like if you didn't sign the form, that tells me you didn't want to be a part of it. But I gave them the link to rejoin anyways in case for some reason they didn't see it for literally the whole week. So if they want to rejoin, then they can. I'm not saying they're completely banned or anything, and they're not really in trouble, but um, I just needed to know what, who is actually active in the server. Because we had, like, over 20 people. 90% of them weren't even fucking doing anything in the server. So, Well, yeah. most of them were invited because of the TTWC. Yeah, and that's why fucking practically threw a bomb in that server. Yeah, and, and not to only the people that signed for were a sheltered. One off appearance and then they promptly never appeared again. And it's like yeah. I said in the Discord chat, some of them I get the feeling that some of them were didn't may not have even wanted to be there because or better yet, they just treat it business only, business only. This is just for exposure. Because literally, after the episode ends, like, you end it, freaking... I remember, it was that one girl that came in, specifically it was the episode where I told the Dora story, where I forcibly made my family and friends reenact a Dora episode on the way to the beach, back in kindergarten or something. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, remember. like, freaking... As soon as that episode ended... Like, literally, the moment Adam said ended it to imply that he clicked this for the stream to end, she leaves um, the call without a word. Like, not even a goodbye or thanks for having me. Freaking, she's just gone. Instant. Frame one. Instant. And that was not the <laughs> only case. There were, like, a couple more ep or guest stars that were like that. Yeah. yeah. I feel it had mainly to do with Vandalia's freaking pushy nature, how he kind of... Seems he just kind of pushed himself on those people. Yeah, like, asking for topics and whatnot. Like, hell, freaking, that season 7 episode 2, where he, it's just him and that one guy talking about, like, the problem with evil and, like, other bits of philosophy, which I actually probably found more interesting than he probably did, because the whole time, it looks like it's he's on his freaking phone looking down... He's always answering okay and cool. Like, hell, he, in, like, one of his freaking videos, he chastises me for always responding K to him. And yet, throughout this stream, this guy is talking about, like, all bits of philosophy for, like, that, that, like, he talks passionately. Like, he's clearly into this stuff, and he loves sharing it. Most of Vandalia's responses are okay. <laughs> and well, at the hour mark, me and Adam actually watched, saw this at one point when, when we decided to sit down and watch some of it. He, like, he's wrapping up another part of his philosophy speech. Vandelia asks, so what other topics do you have? Oh my god. And his response, the, the guest star's response was literally, oh, I thought it was uh, going to last an hour. Oh no, it's at least an hour he Vandalia responds with, and I'm not shitting you. That is literally what I what me and Schneck heard, literally what we heard. Wow. Yeah, we don't so, talk about. So of course. Yeah, go on. So yeah, so of course the guest star was like, think probably thinking to himself, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> so Number of course of he the... continued, and I could tell like at some point. He was, like, obviously trying to get himself out of there, and I could tell, and honestly, I don't even blame him. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 to uh, Mr. V... Well, Jesse, episode. did you want to say something? There was a podcast episode that I was in that was just me and Vandalia, and I was talking for a bit about stories and stuff, and he was trying to end the podcast early, like, only 30 minutes or so. I'm like, oh, wait, but I still want to talk about some stuff. Why was but he ending it? I don't know. I am going to try and find the episode. Just give me a moment. All right. Yeah, go on. Well, yeah, we are talking about the guy. Yes. Because, I mean, while we're just talking about stuff, I mean, 
But, so, I mean, here's the thing. To his credit, that third episode where he had the two guest stars, it was better because, I mean, he was at least engaging with them. Hello, Libba Burl. Oh, God. What's his name? Vandelia 1998. Why? So... He accuses me of responding with K all the time, which, of course, I, I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes I respond with K, but normally it was a generic response, like, I don't remember saying it that much, to be honest. Think maybe he took it from when I was playing Resident Evil 7 and I was too engaged with the game to really say anything. Do I play Disney Infinity? I do not. In fact, Amiibos are the only Toys to Life thing I have. Is he still around? Uh, yeah, he is still around, but clearly we're not part of his podcast anymore. We separated and we're doing Fire Pie instead. Fun yeah. fact. Fun fact. He was one of the only other people that actually signed that fucking Google form, believe it or not. Which is kind of weird because I figured that he wouldn't have and probably would have left the server. But no, he actually signed it for some reason. I'm not really sure why. So he wasn't one of the people that got kicked. I don't know what, what the other Fire Pie members feel about that. So I don't know. I'm just going to leave him in the server for now. Uh, like really I said, sure. I, just, I just find it so weird how he just wants to stick around even though we're not going to really have any interaction with him. Yeah, I mean, part of me I mean, feels is, like that I'm he's trying to, to treat it like a reaction, but Wait. he's got to make it clear that he's going to I mean, then again, we already tried to ha we already tried to help him out, make some improvements and then he chose not to, so I don't know. And also, part of me makes me feel like that he's still using the server to try and treat it like it's his own and that nothing ever really happened. And I'm just like, mate, are you kidding me? Cuz the only posts he made it so far, we're just literally advertisements for his own podcast and his own streams, and that was it. So. Yep. That's all he's posted. Libba Burrow, I, I just said uh, the oh. only Toys to Life stuff I have are Amiibos. I don't have Skylanders, I don't have Disney Infinity, I don't have Lego, Lego Dimensions, and I don't have Starlink. Also, I forgot to mention this. I mentioned it to Schnick privately, but I didn't make this clear. Um, I want to go back to the Google form thing. Uh, okay, so I also wanted to point out that that was like most likely a one-time thing. Unless the community just for some reason became 90% inactive and we have like 20 users again, then maybe I'd do the Google form thing a second time. But that most likely won't need to happen so it was intended to be a one-time thing first off and second i'm not like going to be super strict about people being active or inactive but i mean at the same time like if someone posts something and then never posts for like months then it's going to make me wonder are they really active anymore it, it makes me feel like that they just lost all interest that they don't post for literally months or even a year so that's kind of the point of the Google form was to make sure if people were still even wanting to be there. And whoever didn't sign, well, that just tells me they didn't really want to be there anymore. So, you know, it's like if they want to join back, I gave them the link. So it's whatever. Uh, yeah. I'm not really mad about it or anything. I'm just, you know, it's just there. Uh so yeah, I'm not going to be super strict, like, oh, if you're inactive for a day, you need to check it. No, 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 that's not how that works. But that was just, I needed to know who was actually going to be here, and who was just there for the last server. Yeah. And uh, I also want to say this, probably again if I already said it, um, literally, I kicked, I don't know how many people I kicked, I think it was like about 10, 10 plus uh, there was about 20 people in the server. Beforehand, I also got rid of two bots that were there. So, it was like a restream bot and then a Streamlabs bot, I believe. What the hell? Yeah, did he that just was... Pick, did he just pick up an arrow that Link oh. shot at him? 
Yeah, yeah you could pick up Link's arrows in this game. So. Wow, I didn't know that. Wait. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, I guess that's attention to detail. Like, damn. <laughs> well, the, it only happens, like, okay. No, in with Breath of the Wild Link, this no, was it revealed at E3, sword. but he could uh, shoot an arrow. He could actually go pick up the arrow again, and then he could shoot again, and then he'll have a double arrow. He, he shoots a double arrow. It's supposed to show, like, the arrow mechanic in Breath of the Wild. Well, I gotta go to the bathroom wow. quick, so keep talking. Yeah, they show that off at E3. I'm surprised you forgot. Yeah. Another thing about Link that's kind of obscure is that when he's at zero health and he does a smash attack, it shoots a beam. Like, it's from, beam. Uh, also, King DDD can eat Toad for some reason. He can munch him. DDD can also go stanky faced. Uh huh. I hope they keep that in patch three. Uh, all right. Do you hallucinate if you eat toad? And yeah, Kirby. you turn into one. Can Kirby eat Toad too? Wait, how did we go from Link picking up arrows to can Kirby eat Toad too? <laughs> what the hell? And it's stupid too, because I literally went on the Discord to type a message, and I come back and I see those two messages. Wow, I had no context for that. <laughs> literally. Does eating Toad make one hallucinate? Oh, and you can only do pick up the arrows against regular Link. Um, Young Link and Toon Link, it doesn't work. Oh, did we? Huh. Well, I didn't. Cause I, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Whomst does that sound? Oh, okay. I mean, he would he grow in size? Probably. He'd probably grow in size. Those are mushrooms, right? He would eat toad and he'll gain the all new power up, Mushroom Kirby, in which his controls are just backwards. <laughs> Kirk's him. That would be a weird joke ability, like the sleep ability is. Yeah, I know about the Link forward smash at zero thing, yeah. Oh my god. Um, well anyways, I think I gotta go, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so, I don't know how much longer this is gonna last, so... Well, this will probably last until the tournament's over. How much, or how further is We're about halfway through the first round. Oh. Also, wow. I was about to say the right phrase, and then I correct myself. Actually not With corrected, incorrected my phrase. Good. <laughs> You incorrected it with the left phrase. Oh. Wizard can't. Wait, give me a second. Oh. Eli, it's actually a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a wizard. Are you kidding me? Oh my. That sounds really weird out of context, but the main area of the Discord group is just really weird currently, so. <laughs> I was considering making a camp section, but. <laughs> Maybe I would post there. Maybe you should put a this does not exist section for all types of generators. This doesn't exist anymore. Maybe. 
Oh my oh, god, why don't we name a Discord channel Realm of Richard for some oh stupid... Oh my, yeah, the Realm of Richard. A whole server or channel? Channel. A cha oh. Just pilot R-O-R. I mean, <laughs> I could make a server called the Richard server and then just have nothing in it. <laughs> nothing. No, there's no text channels at all, so you can't do anything. <laughs> you can only join it. Good. Anyways, I'm gonna go. See ya. Alright, bye bye. Okay, I'll be back real fast. I'm eating, but I'll be right back. You're going to eat? Yes. I'll be right, 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 right. Okay, did Brandon leave? I don't know where Brandon is. Wah, wah. Okay. Here's a here's a trivia question for anyone in chat. Why do we keep referring to something called the Realm of Richard? And then for anyone that doesn't know, I'll explain it. Oh shit, the ninja killed himself. That's unfortunate. Oh, Alucard. I don't know, you tell me. Okay, so you're gonna get the explanation. So, the Realm of Richard refers to Richard Aiken from Re the original Resident Evil. So, there was a point where Brandon was play kind of binge playing the older Resident <laughs> Evil games because he really hated the tank controls and everything, but he decided... I don't know, maybe it's because I was hating Splatoon at the time, and I was into Resident Evil at the time. So Brandon, I guess, decided to try them again. So he's playing through the remake of the first game using the PS4 remaster, and I think he's playing as Jill. He gets to the point where Richard helps I'll be back. during the... Huh? Was someone there? No. Oh. That was Brandon. He said he'll be back and then just kind of left. Okay, he'll so, be back. So, so yeah. anyways. So, Brandon gets to the point where you're fighting Yawn, the giant snake, and Richard helps you during the boss fight. So, Richard gets eaten whole by the snake. And you can pick up his shotgun that he uses and use it to finish the snake off or something. Mm-hmm. And at one point, Brandon was like, well, Richard, I got your shotgun now. I'm like, I don't remember the, I don't exactly remember the initial exchange that led to the infamous quote. But he's like, well, Richard, I got your shotgun now. You can't have it back. Well. And I'm like, oh, why are you stealing Richard's shotgun? And Brandon's response, which I know for a fact he said, He's, he, he responds, well, Richard doesn't exist anymore, so it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> and I just friggin' burst out laughing. He didn't, he couldn't just say Richard's dead, so I, you know, he had to spell out Richard doesn't exist anymore. For So friggin' I respond, doesn't exist anymore? And he's like, yeah, he got eaten by a snake. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the way it sounds, it sounds like Brandon stole his shotgun, shot him, and killed him, and then just erased him from his memory. Uh huh. So, anytime we refer to something that has to get like a race or something that's dead or something that's in, like basically the hell dungeon from Shrek, we just say, oh, it, it doesn't exist anymore, just like Richard. There's a huge realm of things that doesn't exist called the Realm of Richard. Yeah, the Realm of Richard. I don't know who coined that term, but that's basically what it is. <laughs> In fact, for a while, Adam thought we were referring to a real-life friend of his called Richard. And we were saying the Realm of Richard just because Richard hadn't talked to us in a while. Yeah, he thought the joke it was completely different context. And then Sparrow says he exists now only as snake shit, except I'm pretty sure the snake didn't have time to shit him out because Jill killed it and now the snake doesn't exist anymore. 
Such is the way of Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm in Smash now, but there isn't much that we can do. Unless you want to go in the room and mess around. Oh, Ed Boy. Did you just say Ed Boy? I said I borped, but I might as well have said Ed Boy, because I just got destroyed, so. <laughs> what are you playing? Snatch. Oh, wait, you're in. done eating already? Yeah. I, I eat really fast. Really? Especially <laughs> if it's macarons. So. Macaron. Macaron. More cheese. More cheese! More macarone. Less macaroni. Oh! Snick! Freaking, I had a freaking Tommy Wiseau sounding person when I was walking to go get my brother. It was hilarious. Really? It was literally like Tommy Wiseau freaking all. It sounded almost exactly like him. Really? It wasn't what did him. he say? It, it, it wasn't him. It didn't look like him. But, the only, okay, the only two distinct things that kind of looked like him was that he had long hair and he wore sunglasses. Like, and it was... <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was just asking <laughs> what he said. Okay, I, I will tell you what, what he said. So, the intersection, like, okay, so since the school is right by a bunch of apartments, right? Um, lots of kids just straight up walk home, right? Because mm -hmm. convenience. But for legal reasons and safety reasons, um, they have to get someone with a stop sign to walk over by the crosswalk. Stop the cars for a bit and then walk back, right? Yeah. And this, and freaking Tommy Wiseau, it's not Tommy Wiseau, but I didn't call him Tommy. Freaking Tommy Wiseau drives up, very expensive looking car, and he gets confused on well, the lane. Be, that's Tommy Wiseau-esque. He drives up and he's very confused on which lane is to go, like, forward out from the school or into the school to pick up. He's very confused. He wants to go forward, right? And you could just see the look on his face. He has no way. He's driving really slowly where, like, all the big buildup is, right? And then, um, freaking the guard comes out holding the stop sign. And then he gets really frustrated, rolls down the window and goes, Hey, lady, this is ridiculous. I, I want to go straight. This, this is ridiculous. And she's like, well, well where do you want to go? Over there to pick up somebody or straight. He's like, I want to go straight. I, I need to get home. And she's like, all right, just continue on that way. And then she moves back and then he's like, this is ridiculous. And then he slams on the gas and flies forward. <laughs> he just literally, like, from like zero to 60 miles. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and then he just it disappears instantly. And I'm just like, are you kidding? I am secretly vampire, huh? He, it was literally Tommy Wiseau. Like, it was funny. I'm like, are you kidding me? It wasn't Tommy Wiseau, but, like, he looked like he had darker skin and his body shape was not Tommy Wiseau, but he sounded like him. And he had long black hair and sunglasses. I'm like, this person is literally just an impersonator. He must be from France. <laughs> like, it's freaking, oh, it's freaking funny. I was, and I just stood there flabbergasted, along with all the kids and the freaking woman with the stop sign. <laughs> well, Mario is fucked. He didn't take a single life off Ridley. Mario, you're supposed to fight the dragon, not enter his teeth. <laughs> I mean, Mario's still trying. Tommy was so versus Tommy Versetti. Too bad I don't know much about Tommy Versetti because I haven't played much of Vice City. Wait, wait. There is. Uh, okay, dang it, I lost well, my is, time. I don't like most of the earlier GTA games. Like, I just feel they haven't aged well. They could get very chunky, so. Like, it's weird. 
a whole series of Grand Theft Auto games, and the only one I can say that I, the only one I can genuinely say that I thought was amazing was GTA Four. I mean, I liked San Andreas, but it still had that clunkiness. Clunky and chunky. Three, two, one, go! Freaking, what was I going to do? You were going to do something. My thoughts went to the realm of Richard here. Like God damn it. Oh, look, Jesse, it's Isabel versus DDD. Who's going to win? Isabel. I'm always gonna vote Isabel. No, I can't believe you're having her fight. No. I don't I don't want her to fight, but it's so it's actually over. And I think DDD is actually gonna win, but I'm still voting for Isabel. Because Isabel is Bell. I'm good. Let's see here. Um thinking of doing a rule set, but I'm not sure what rule set would be cool. I'm gonna create a new rule set, and I must do something really ridiculous. Also, uh... Oh, bye, DDD. I thought you were gonna die. DDD is DD dead. DDD, DD dead. Um... Trying to thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make a Street Fighter esque. Um, Street Fighter esque. Would you make stages if that stage builder actually came out? Yes, and I'm pretty sure it is gonna come out because it's literally in the Nintendo trailer, so. I mean, oh my god, we need... If that comes out, all we need is a Joker release day, because, I mean, I already paid for the character pass. Yeah. Items. What kind of items? Uh, the ogre fart. You know, there in Shrek Super Slam, there is literally a wand with Shrek's head on it that just creates nuclear farts at the swing of the wand. That sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> like, in every way, in every context, that is just not okay. Like, one swing of the wand with Shrek's head on it, and then big nuclear fart. Oh my god. That that's one thing Vandelia failed to understand. He would always reference Shrek, but he wouldn't put any variation into it. And it would always be Shrek on Xbox this, Shrek on Xbox that. Like not everything we quote about Shrek has to do with Shrek on Xbox. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. What shall we do? Wait, where's the... Put that on? Put that on. Baby. The baby, the baby is eating. The baby is what? Eating. The baby is eating. I almost wonder if my dog, anytime I, sometimes when I take him in from a walk, he will immediately go to his food bowl and start eating. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. This seems ridiculous. Let me try this. Realm of Richard. Bum, 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 bum. All right, here we go. Baby's death. Let me just test this out real fast. See how it is. Dog, do not lick me. You got shulk. We're gonna get angry grandpa ear rape in a second. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a very specific moment. 
dang burly. It's not burly. Oh my. Are you ready? I think this is it. What? I got your goddamn snap bar, bitch! You oh, understand me? No, one. shut up! Let me tell you one thing, you bitch! You only tear my motherfucking homeboy. You don't tear my homeboy one goddamn time. I will, I dare you to come. You should bring your goddamn trap to my house. I will burn your goddamn tractor down. I will blow your shit. You hear me, lady? You take my home away. Let me tell you one goddamn thing. You ain't taking Calm down. <laughs> What is he? That's the grandpa knees for you. <laughs> grandpa knees. The more I think about it, the more I think freaking Angry Grandpa would be an amazing WWE freaking wrestler. No, the He'd funny thing is, Pickle Boy was into wrestling, but Angry Grandpa hated it. Wow. There was even a whole video where he destroyed his collection of wrestling toys, yelling, You're too big for toys! <laughs> wow. Ancient figures. Okay, so here we go. Another fight. Fucking Ken's trying to be tactical. The tactical petition. Am I dead? Is that what you're telling me? Uh oh. You might be dead. No, I'm good. Shulk is very dead. All right. Oh, oh, Ken got his ass. <laughs> I thought Ken had a different final smash. Ken has two different final smashes. Really? How do you activate them? Is it just at random? There's a distance one. They're two. They're based on distances, just like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. If you use it close, he does the spinning kick one, and if it does hit far, he does like a flaming Shoryuken one, which reference it actually references Marvel vs. Capcom three. Well, yeah, That's that was super. his hyper combo in Marvel vs. Capcom three, the flaming one. Yeah. I mean, hell, any Capcom, uh, any of the Capcom characters in there could become characters here. Like, they're almost definitely not. I mean, then again, they were able to make both Resident Evil and Dead Rising T-rated. Hmm. I mean, if they were to put another Capcom character, I would hope they would put Dante from Devil May Cry. Dante versus Bayonetta. Well, that's the versus... whole point. Dante and Bayonetta have the same creator. Just at different studios. Uh, yeah, it would be pretty cool. Because the story is... So, I think the guy is Hideki Kamiya. He created Resident Evil 2. And then he made Devil May Cry based on a scrapped concept for Resident Evil 4. And then I think he was in charge at Clover Studio. Who made like Beautiful Joe, Okami, and God Hand. Mm -hmm. But then Clover Studio shut down after their games didn't never really sold well. And I think the I think he formed Platinum Games out of the remnants of Clover Studio. Or at least that's mm -hmm. what I believe. And then of course Platinum Games made Bayonetta, and then they made a whole bunch of other games like Near Automata and such. Metal Gear yeah. Rising. Can't forget about Metal Gear Rising. Metal Gear. You know, if I ever make shitty RPG 4, I have decided the final battle music in the true ending against Dark Side Phil will be the freaking final battle music for Metal Gear Rising. Mm. Like, if you want to look it up, you can. Wait, let me see something first. Do I want to try to do a public lobby or no? Private lobby? A public lobby, uh, or not public, but, um, what's it called? An open lobby. I mean, if you to... wanted, but I have to finish the tournament first, obviously. Yeah, obviously. 
Uh, Daisy versus Inkling. Let's go. Oh, Blake. Uh, I need pass three. Baby's redneck mode. What should the password be? The password should be take that Hitler. I'm gonna beat you red, white, and blue. Take that Hitler. Take that. Grandpa Phil. <laughs> Freaking. Who's the grandpa in Regrets? What's his name? Uh, Grandpa Lou. Oh, yeah, Lou. Freaking, um, I was watching an episode of Rugrats. You probably know which one this is, but I don't know. But freaking Stu made me laugh really hard. When Grandpa Lou was really angry, he's like, ah, why do you always ruin everything? And then Stu just goes, why do you always sound like an angry pro or why do you always sound like a prospect player when you get angry, gosh, barblet? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why do you always sound like a prospect or what? <laughs> Like, Stu, like, okay, so Grandpa Lou goes, Ah, why do you always ruin everything? And then Stu goes, Why do you always sound like a prospector when you get angry? Gosh, blarblet. <laughs> Gets an angry what? It says, Why do you always sound like a prospector when you get angry? Gosh, blarblet. It's literally what he says. What the fuck? He says that out of nowhere, and it's funny. Do the coins count for anything, or are they just part of the stage? I think if you get a certain amount of coins, you're supposed to get some kind of bonus. Are you playing um, Golden Plains, the new Super Mario Brothers 2 one? I think that one, yeah. When you get 100 coins, you turn golden and get a stat boost. Like, you get encrusted in gold, and then you become rainbowy once you get 100 coins. And then you just become powerful. You become all-seeing. All right, the fire pie public lobby is open, but it's not well, not open what? yet because they haven't sent. Us. We'll send it out whenever. What? So I made a public that requires a password. Is basically what it is. But yet, yeah, Jesse, getting back to the Rugrats episode, I actually do not know which one you're talking about. Do you know? happen to know the rest of the episode's plot? No, I, I do not know. Damn it, so remember. it's going to take just me read... a long time to try and find it. I was really tired, but it was funny. Where were you watching it? I'm... No, freaking, they changed Nick Splat's name to Nick Rewind. It's like, can they stick with a name for a couple of years? Nick Splat is way better than Nick Rewind, by the way. I just like the I just like calling it the Splat. Yeah, the Splat. Not even Nick Splat. Anyways, I don't even remember it. So it was on TV, and I was really tired. And it was like, why half, do you half always half. sound like a prospector? <laughs> and like the way you said, it, I could probably find a YouTube clip, but. Anyways, uh, let me see. I'm actually gonna see if I can find it now. Here. Best of stew pickles. Freaking. <laughs> Another one was when someone says, um, I don't know. Okay. We just trying to find it. Oh, I think I found it. I think I found it. Oh, <laughs> you found it. Oh, <laughs> he says conflabbit. That's freaking Grandpa Lou's phrase. Conflabbit. Yeah, Grandpa wow. Lou says conflabbit anytime he gets that angry. Wow. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to see... I might know this episode, because clearly... The... Oh, I think I know which one this is. So, it's Whoa. an episode where Tommy where Tommy makes a wish to be able to fly an airplane. 
And then literally <laughs> overnight, freaking Silent Hill fog rolls over the house. Wow. And so Tommy and the babies, they think the house is flying through the clouds. In fact, Whoa. I think the episode's name is Send in the Clouds. Hmm. All so, right, well, think... so at Oops. first they're excited and they decide to just fly the plane, which is their house. But then problems arise when Grandpa, when I believe Grandpa Lou, Stu, and Dee Dee have to run out and do errands, or maybe Grandpa Lou's staying, but no, Stu and Dee Dee have to run out and do errands. So during this particular scene, I think Tommy was trying to steal Stu's car key so he can't leave. <laughs> Yeah. And, like, literally, I, I think, like, so Tommy gets the keys, and he literally, Stu chases him up the stairs, and then Tommy drops the keys in the drain of the bathtub. <laughs> wow. And then, like, for a good chunk of the episode, Stu is using, like, a fishing rod to, like, get the keys out. <laughs> wow. Thinking... There was another thing that I saw, but it was a long time ago. Of Stu getting really angry. But I don't remember. I think it was... Like, some something. Oh, that's an absurd proposition. You're and an Stu absurd like, proposition. I know yeah. that one. It's the one where... Um, the Pickles have a feud with the DeVilles. So, I think it was like... Betty's a thief? That's an absurd proposition. You're an absurd proposition! <laughs> yeah, I know that one. <laughs> well, Stu is probably my favorite of the adult characters. With maybe Grandpa yeah. Lou coming in second. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, my open lobby is up. Wario versus Luigi. Who's gonna win? Um. Vinny from Vine Sauce was trying to say Wario, and Wal and Luigi in the same sentence, and he accidentally said War Luigi. <laughs> War Luigi. <laughs> And then he stopped himself and he's like, War Luigi, he rides tanks. <laughs> War <laughs> Luigi rides tanks. Put Luigi in freaking full metal jacket gear. There we go. <laughs> oh my, wow. Freaking Luigi hit both Smash Balls tactically. He killed Wario with the fake Smash Ball. And then Luigi simultaneously got the freaking real Smash Ball and did a final smash to kill him. The King War Luigi, see? Yeah, it is there War you. Luigi. <laughs> he was trained by Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. Uh, Again, I want to get myself no. a bowl of ice cream, but everyone's still upstairs shredding damn video games. Well, no, they're not shredding games. They're just shredding old stuff because they're cleaning up a bit. <laughs> Shredding games, you that thing you remind me of the freaking lawnmower. <laughs> I mean, no, freaking anytime I sit, think of the word shred or shred grill or maybe flatten, I think of Psycho Dad. Well, freaking flatten. <laughs> I don't know why. There's some words like AVGN and Psycho Dad that just sound incredibly funny to say. I don't know why. Because, I mean, I when, it com when it comes to compare, what w how would you compare Angry Grandpa and Psycho Dad? Um, freaking Angry Grandpa feels like a more down-to-earth, real representation of an angry, over-the-top, pissed-off grandpa. But then Psycho Dad is, well, so over-the-top and insane that he'll lawnmower your video games. Like, I think the thing is that Psycho Dad has the biggest actions. Well, um, Angry Grandpa has the funniest just lines. Yeah, like, like, Psy like the thing is, when dialogue. Angry Grandpa destroyed stuff, he... When Angry Grandpa destroyed stuff, like, it was always the same way. He would either grab up the nearest weapon close to him, or he would use his hands if there was no weapon close by, and he would just smash it repeatedly. But Angry... 
I would say both Psycho Dad and Angry Grandpa had witty comebacks for a lot of stuff. Though I think more so Angry Grandpa, probably because <laughs> freaking lots of times when he destroyed stuff, he just didn't give a shit. <laughs> Whereas Psycho Dad <laughs> always tried to have a purpose behind his destructions. Yeah. But Psycho Dad always went over the top creative with how he destroyed stuff because it was scripted. Yeah. Why am I goddamn bad I mean, the, the, though the crossover video was good, like, especially the moment where Angry Grandpa w runs up to Psycho Dad yelling gibberish, like... Funny and the, the the funny thing is that's a, a bit of angry grandpa gibberish that's actually a bit comprehensible. He said something along the lines of "Your son pointed a gun at me," referring to how Psycho Kid was pointing a prop gun at him, trying to prank him. Mm -hmm. And so angry grandpa yells his gibberish, and Psycho Dad just responds, "What the hell are you even saying?" <laughs> well. I'm a giant cookie there. Fusion, Psycho Granddad. No, the act, there was a YTP <laughs> called The Wrath of Psycho Grandpa, which for a while was the only crossover video, even though it was fan-made. Freaking, what would be another insane family member? like a good name for it mm. insane uncle i don't know freaking all right so how far into the tournament are you now i mean to be honest both channels have gone downhill because i mean well psycho dad that series ended and now psycho kid's just doing a whole bunch of random things to the point where you don't even know what his real life is like yeah. And then Angry Grandpa passed away, and now Pickle Boy pretty much keeps the channel alive almost solely through clickbait videos, which is really unfortunate. Yeah. Like, the only bright spots are the occasions where he does upload an old Grandpa video that was in his archives. Because apparently they no, have a huge archive of grandpa videos to upload for hopefully for I believe a long time to come, but those videos don't get uploaded very often. Yeah, Snake. I think I just invented. I just had a new name for another like angry grandpa type s character. Yeah. Her name is Satanic Stepmother. <laughs> Satanic Stepmother. No, yeah, all you have the... to do is combine um, the wicked stepmother from Cinder Disney Cinderella and freaking No Wire Hangers Lady from freaking Mommy Dearest. No Wire Hangers. Yeah, literally combine those two together, then there's your satanic stepmother. <laughs> Were you starting to sing No Wire Hangers? Oh, wire hangers. No, you gotta do it with feeling. You gotta do it like this. No, wire hangers. What wire hangers doing in this closet when I told you? No, wire hangers ever. Ah. <laughs> Freaking... Hey, I'm not making that up. She really sings it like it's a chorus or it's an opera. Uh, I would not be surprised. Off. I mean, well, then again, they tried... Paramount was a bit shitty with the marketing, how they immediately tried to market it as a comedy, when really it's only that one scene that's so over the top that I don't know. <laughs> But otherwise, they tried to take a movie that has serious allegations towards a famous actor, and they tried to market it as a comedy. Well, they should have, um, it's almost like marketing Home Alone as a family drama. As and a having, family like, ultra... drama. <laughs> it's, it's just stupid. Oh my god.
Like imagine like an tra- over the top dramatic trailer of Home Alone. I mean, well, then again, I remember watching a couple of videos that recut certain movies that's, like, a different genre. Like, I remember there was one that there was one that made Mrs. Doubtfire a horror movie. There was one that made Willy Wonka a horror movie. Willy Wonka could be a horror movie. Like... I mean, technically, yeah, if you change, like, if you changed around Wonka's intent, then yeah, it was a, it would be a horror movie. <laughs> He wants to turn the kids to chocolate. There you go. No, he doesn't want to turn the kids to chocolate. Maybe, maybe he, maybe you can say that Wonka is like the '70s version of Jigsaw. How about that? Oh Christ! <laughs> you better make me a perfect cake, or else you're gonna end up like the bad egg down in the incinerator. <laughs> Literally, because they never, they never directly say what happened to the kids. Like, you never see the kids again after their so-called demises. So, like, it's literally left to the viewer to decide what, like, Wonka insists they're fine, but still, like, (laughs) the fact you don't actually see them being fine, unlike in the remake. Yeah, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory shows them being fine, but in the original, they're just gone. Yeah, like Wonka just insists, oh, they'll be okay, hopefully better than they were before. Yeah, and then he usually like, calls over an Oompa Loompa, and he's just like, can you get Susie? And then he sings the blah, 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 out of the incinerator. <laughs> it sounds like that. Just some dialogue that sounds extremely concerning. Oh my god, freaking Young Link's badass. And this is his first tournament. Young Link. Oh, look who Young Link called. Calls the power of the Great Deku Shield. I'm just kidding. Freaking. There have been, like, moments where people have been playing Young Link and they've been saved by the little tiny wooden shield. Like, someone will throw a bomb and they'll hit his shield and he'll somehow survive and then make a comeback in tournament. And rest in peace, Waluigi and Ice Climbers. Young Link played both of you. Waluigi never got his money from Young Link. Yeah, Waluigi's gotta have fucking money. And he'll stomp people's heads in for free. Yeah, Waluigi's trying to perform good deeds. Good deeds. Dude, dude. Oh, and then, freaking, uh, freaking, another thing that would make Willy Wonka a bit of a horror movie, the fact that sometimes he's able to stop the kids from meeting their fates, but he just employs disinterested sarcasm. Oh, no, stop. <laughs> yeah, no, the first time is when the kid falls in the chocolate river and the mom's like, don't you stand there, do something. That was my bad, that was my bad German accent, but now, like, so she's like, don't just stand there, do something! Help. Police. Murder. Help. Police. <laughs> and then, of course, the more famous one, where Mike TV is trying to go into the freaking TV screen. Freaking, he runs up to the thing, his mom yells him for him not to do it. Stop, don't, come back. Not <laughs> do Jesus Christ, Brandon, you jump scared me. Stop. I thought freaking Willy. I thought, oh my, I thought Willy Wonka literally infested my brain. (laughs) Don't. Just. Okay, just. What, Brandon? (laughs) And now Kirby's being a dick with my taunting. (laughs) Kirby's been eating them toads. (laughs) More. I can't believe I fucking jump scared you. That's fucking hilarious. All I screamed into the mic was Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Yeah. On my end, it sounded like. <gasps> so. You know, yeah. you know, I did that to my dad once. When really? I was in like elementary, when I was like getting towards middle school, but more so elementary school. You know what happened? What? So, freaking, I found this bracelet that said Happy Easter on it. 
Even though it was uh -huh. nowhere close to Easter. So, I decide I wanted to yell Happy Easter into my dad's ear. Oh! Oh. I don't know why, but I decided to do it. So, I t I, my dad's like half asleep, and I'm like, I'm like, Dad, I want to whisper something in your ear, ear, and he's like half asleep. He's like, what is it? So I get closer. I get closer and Happy Easter! Oh no! My dad jolts awake, and he pre and in jolt reaction, he pretty much he punches me in the gut. <laughs> you deserved it. I did deserve it. Yeah. Like he didn't mean to, but like freaking he he's like, why'd you scream that in my ear? <laughs> but he did have a nobody's gonna have. Now nobody's gonna have a happy Easter. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Nick, you're grounded. <laughs> Speaking of Easter. Uh, he, I think he threatened to ground me because of that. Wait, when's it Easter? It's like in a week, right? On 420? Oh, I, I, damn it, I went Patrick. Instead of saying Easter, I said Weaster. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm pretty sure Easter takes place on Sunday, dude. This Sunday? Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Okay. I'm okay. not sure. I don't, I don't know. What up? Yeah, but it's, that it's would just not be... on Saturday. <laughs> oh, alright. Yeah, okay, so it's the 41st. Well, 41st. 21st. Good. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm Easter the 41st. Today I'm celebrating my 111th birthday. Congratulations, Squidward, you are fucking stupid. Hi. Squidward. Squidward is my best friend in the Obi Wan. Squidward is my best friend under the Xenoverse. Squidward likes Richard more than Discord. <laughs> he likes Squad more. is a dirty, stinking lion friend stealer. Squag. Squangwag. Oh, one of my one of my favorite episodes is actually SpongeBob BC or SpongeBob UG. Um, and a lot of people actually don't like it, from what I've heard. I mean, the serious Mr. Enter. I really liked the BC episode. I liked it. I loved it back yeah. then, actually. Yeah, me too. It was one of my favorite episodes. And money, yeah, they money, 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 the freaking, literally, one of my favorite memorable no, moments has been. This, so, this is the M rated equivalent of money. You ready? Oh no. Okay. Um, right now I'm hearing Richard. Are you gonna explain something or than me? <laughs> Ew, did someone say Mr. Enter? Yeah, there's a uh, I haven't watched much of him, but um freaking, lots of people like lots of cartoon channels haven't really liked UG and it's very unfortunate. I mean I don't because... watch cartoon channels because well I just don't like their content recently. I I stopped watching You know what? You know what YouTube does that's bullshit? What? So whenever I get recommended anything fucking Family Guy, um, if I decide to watch the clip, then my entire YouTube homepage is flooded with that shit, and I'm just like, I didn't want this. Garbage. You used to like Mr. Renter back when he was new, but no, here's the thing. I don't like much cartoon channels nowadays because they always defend the bubbly shit. Saying mm -hmm. it's not, it's not generic. It's not generic. It's unique. And 
I mean, well, one cartoon channel that I particularly did not like, well, I've said it numerous times, but it was Nick Tendo, only because of his recommendation for Rocket Power. If that, that sounds petty, but... Basically, he demanded don't buy the Amazon DVD release, buy the iTunes release, completely forgetting to mention that the iTunes release is missing 10 episodes of the show. And worst quality, if I remember. He just sounds like a dweeb. Anyways, well, freaking... Um, wait, yeah, so anyways, with Ugg, um, freaking one of my favorite moments is when Patrick seen, sees Squag, or Patgar, and he's just like, Squag, Squag, Patgar, Unga Squag, and then he goes to hug him, but he, like, crushes him with his big caveman arms. <laughs> and you can see Squidward's head bulging out. And he's just like, Squawg! Yeah, and the entire time it's just like, <laughs> It's so stupid. You feel okay, like you're and there's a moment where Patrick keeps a fucking time, stick. And it feels like me in my old review videos. In fact, oddly enough, I thought I wasn't raging hard enough in the Terminator 3 review, but when I look back, I think it was actually a good balance. Like, I didn't really hit rage all that much. I didn't, like, I wasn't screaming that much in that one. If I would write a review for Monkey Ball, it would be like, pretty boring. Like, I think then, Arthur ready to race and Powerpuff Girls, I raged too much in those. Arthur's ready to rumble. Dumble. Stumble. Humble. Humpy Dumpy. Adam's like Dumbledorf. You look like. <laughs> uh, oh no. Okay, my mind is being split right now. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna do a public Smash Ultimate lobby. Hello, stinky stupid. Spooky scary skeletons. Noah would be a good power up for Kirby. If he ever ate a Mario Brother, it should be called the Pistachio Power Up. Pistachio. <laughs> Super Pistachio yeah. Brothers 3. He just grows a big mustache. And each of his moves are just mustache whips. Jesse, remember last year around... I think it was November when... Do you remember the ads that I showed you that of the company called Planters? Um... I don't think so, actually. No? Well, I, show, I know I at least showed you one of them. Around November, the that company that makes peanuts... Was doing a like the oh, entire month that. with a PSA awareness on your balls health. I yeah yeah now I remember. It was so it was weird. It was very weird. And the, literally each of them that had the hashtag wing nut. Yeah, <laughs> it was freaking weird. Uh, uh, yeah. I would click the link. I would click to show the link, but my hands are like really dirty right now. Hope his hands aren't dirty. <laughs> well, I'm eating barbecue wings, so. All right, let's see here. Why is Little Mac trying to dash off the ledge? There you go, Sparrow. I approved your comment. What? Look, I'm watching. Oh, freaking. I'm watching him raging freaking cut the whole thing. I watched it and I hit it. Uh, oh, yeah, freaking this Anner is being. He's talking about how much he doesn't like him. You can't escape. Found the scene with primitive Mr. Krabs. Yeah, we're here, we're here, we're here. Hello? Hello, eh? Hello, eh? Little sack. Hello. Hello. Anyways, I'm creating. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna make a public smash. Um, Yummy. smash oh, no. lobby. Burger. Oh my god, freaking Little Mac. Yummy, yummy, eat burger. Back Anyone's uh, fresh yesterday. Burger is fresh, never. So YouTube blocked you from messaging? Okay. Wait. Ah. Uh, 
well. Little it's burger. Good. Yeah, if you do too much in rapid succession, then it just stops. It's stupid. Uh, it's it's something that we can't turn off either. Yeah. It's some stupid spam thing. It's supposed to be a spam filter, but like it's not. It just doesn't hey, work. Pokesaurus. Well. All right. So smash ultimate public lobby. You're gonna get destroyed. So wait, you're gonna be playing in the background Adam, now? Or, no. no. Jesse, just watch freaking Mewtwo King just join your lobby just to destroy you. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, Brandon, you're not playing. Okay. No, I have, like, no interest in playing Smash. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so Jesse, you can probably play in the background, maybe. So. Password. Pokesaurus, we're doing okay. And by a public lobby, I mean, like, you're playing with, like, mm -hmm. other people. All right, so there's a fire pie public lobby. If anyone wants fire to join. Fire pie, fire pie, fire pie. Freaking little Mac is crazy dashing. You missed it earlier in the match. He was trying to dash off the ledge. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh god. Oh no! What well, happened? My phone dying. The heck? He's just he being did, really he tried stupid. to do a freaking reversal there. <laughs> Where he like runs towards the wall, bounces off of it, and then rebounds back and punches Samus in the face. <gasps> oh, by the way, I got my Japanese D-Terminal GameCube uh, cord today. What's that do? Um, Play Japanese games? No, it's, it's literally the Japanese version of the... Uh, Component cable. Ah, okay. And I gotta say, the cable feels incredibly premium. Wow. Now all I'm waiting for is a D-terminal to component uh, crossover cable. The baby. Uh-oh. 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 That oh, killed Giga. Samus, are you serious? Giga Mac. So what, Giga Mac one? No, just watch. Alright, the next round is Oh, Link versus Breath of the Wild, Link versus Sheik. <laughs> Samus got destroyed by Little sack. Oh, no. Ah. Oh.
The way that the Link killed Sam or Link killed Sheik there was weird looking, Jesse. He used a bullet bill. I'm buying cheaper in branches that weren't even in Colorado. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Then it make you start to cry. And then you slowly start to die. That's a more eel. A more eel. A more eel. Free rain over the stream. Right. What? Link is getting whooped. Huh. I want to see what the tournament streams are doing. Wow. Wow. This is cool. Wow. Brandon, this is actually really cool. Freaking... I actually can't. The freaking arcade place we used to go to literally has an entire like streaming setup now. Hmm. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna send you one of the videos from from it. That's actually from the place we would go to. It has like 80 people now. Sometimes it's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm kind of out of the whole tournament kind of thing. What do you mean tournament um, kind of thing? Smash melee? I kind of just got bored of going to it. Wah, wah. I'm just interested in how big it got. It's interesting. Uh oh, I'm Jesse, another reason... chance for Isabel to die. No, uh, she's gonna win. The only reason why I really wanted she's to go was lose. so I could... The only reason why I wanted to go was so I could um fight people. But I could do that at school now, thanks to Schmultimate, so Uh, I don't like Ridley. I guess I am rooting for Is Isabel. When the moon hits right, like the big pizza pie. Well, I'm going for Isabel just because I hate Ridley more than I, yeah, I hate I Isabel. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Well, I don't. I said that. I don't even hate Isabel. It's okay, Brandon. You could hate Isabel. I just, I just hate Ridley. <laughs> Can I be totally honest with you? I think Isabel's place though is extremely, extremely annoying and toxic. But I like it because it's Isabel. <laughs> so I'm extremely <laughs> biased. I just do not like Ridley as a character at all. Uh oh. What do I have as a, against the space reptile? Well. He sucks, and he shouldn't be in Smash as a fighter. He's salty. What do you have against the space reptile? Oh. I'm gonna ask any other people if they want to be smoosh. Sheesh. No, I'm just gonna undo the freaking... What are you doing in my Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower? I apply. With the big pizza pie. Division oh. by zero pizza pie. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, Mario head. Mario! What are you doing in my closet? You know those warnings <laughs> no. on TV that alerts like a twister or severe thunderstorm? Brandon, that sounds like something I would say. Do you know those warnings? 
Mm-hmm. I remember watching a YouTube video that was the exact same thing, except there was warning that a Mario head was spotted flying around. Wait. <laughs> And it had a photo of the exact same Mario head from, like, Mario teaches typing. Meow. Meow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's -a me, Mario. I'm here to destroy the universe. Uh, uh, hey, nice planet you got there. Can I destroy it? <laughs> When you see my big head floating oh my around God. your small shed. I remember one Sorry. of the Mario head quotes was amazing. Hang on. Also, Brandon, freaking, what are you doing in my closet? Sounds like something I would say to someone. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, where's Jesse? I can't find him. Open my closet door. What are you doing in my closet? <laughs> oh my God, freaking... Isabel actually wins, look. Yay, Isabel cremated the stupid dragon thing. <laughs> yeah, now he's the dragon's like Richard. Hey, someone joined my public lobby. He doesn't exist anymore. Alright, hang on, I need to find the quote. Oh my god. Look, that is me. What the oh, heck is this? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on, hang on. Oh no! I'm a foreign, and I came to get out. He is freaking ridiculous. Look at it. Of American advertising. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Not my favorite scene. <laughs> that is my impression of American, of American advertising. I hate Ridley because he's stupid. He doesn't fit into the Smash game. His scale is wrong, and he's an annoying fucking character. He just doesn't like him. American advertising. Mm -hmm. right. What? No. No, this man. No. Oh, I'm good. No. That's beans. This is beans. <laughs> Good. Oh! I told you you would get this story, Jesse. You, I hate this person. They're banned. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I told you you'd get destroyed. They stole my S leg and actually used it. And now they have six stocks. Oh, you're destroyed. You've been eradicated. This read. Honestly, I the way the way you worded your sentence when you said you hate that guy, you I hate. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. <laughs> you said I know we're good. I know we're good. You I hate. That no, sounds like something wasn't. Papu Papu would say. Bandicoot of the crash. You I hate. <laughs> oh, I, I just, if, if he talked like that, I would just die. Bandicoot, you, I hate. My belly be boingy. <laughs> <laughs> My belly be boingy. I feel mm -hmm. like if I do his voice more, I'm just gonna start doing just a really crunchy. Hey. Like a freaking. Rico. Yeah, like an Hey Rico! Or a freaking villager freaking. Hey! Aka! <laughs> Grace, hey. no plays, Aka. never heard of him. Guy, Solar. 
So, uh... And then, and then you get to that one area of the game and all you hear around the corners is just... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, you hear bicycle. Bicycle. Oh, so, do you know they're not bicycle. saying go ahead? They're actually bicycle. saying go ahead. Bicycle. They're playing what? They're saying what, Jesse? Um, they don't actually say go ahead, low. That's what I actually thought they said, too. They actually are saying Lord Sadler. Lord really? Sadler. Yeah. No, they go... The way they that say it, it sounds like go like ahead, they're saying it. It sounds like they're saying go ahead, low. Yeah, even I thought it said go ahead, low. Then my friend Alex, who's really in the Resident Evil, he's like, no, actually, if you listen closely, they say Lord Sadler, and then I listen to it again. And literally, my freaking mind switched from Go Head Low to Lord Sadler, and now I can't hear Go Head Low anymore, and it's very sad. <laughs> so unless you want to ruin yourself and hearing Sadler and never be. It doesn't help that the voice clip plays so lowly, you can't really hear what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you it's have to listen to, like, quiet. an audio clip on YouTube. Yeah, because in-game it's, like, stupid quiet. Not to mention, there's like an effect put on it, like that kind of muffled yeah, the audio of the it. voices. They actually put a crusting, like, gargly like effect on the audio to make them sound more grungy than they actually are. Yeah, and that's only in the yeah. original versions of the game. The Ultimate HD Edition on, like, PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and I presume the Switch port when it comes out, the audio sounds more clean in those versions. Yeah, they get rid of the gurgle. But yeah, if you play the GameCube version or like Wii version, then they say go ahead low. Let's see, Pac-Man v Wario. I think I'm gonna be rooting for the fat man. The fat he's man. The true Ameri- <laughs> he's the true American hero, or the true American ogre. One of the two. <laughs> he taunted and got hit by a hammer. Is this taunt the one where he goes, eh, eh? No, he went, wah, wah, wah. And then a ah. hammer spawned on top of him. That is my impression of American advertising. Uh-huh. Wah. That is my impression of Sigiro <laughs> Miyamoto. I saw him taunting. What is that? His crawl animation? Yeah. Yeah, Wario crawls. <laughs> he just looks weird, and then when he backs up, it just back to the studio. I got freaking. And there's this ogre for it. This, this guy it's threw him. My... I like his new Final Smash, but I miss playing as the Wario Man. Yeah, it's really, I think what they should have done is playing as the Wario Man, and then if you, like, hit them after a bit, it just does, like, like, for your last hit of it, it just like goes into Like what Bayonetta it. does? Yeah. That's what they should do. They should have done. There was literally just... all three pieces of the Dragoon sitting on the board, and none of these bozo AIs went for it. I'm excited for the stage builder, honestly. Dude, I'm excited for the 26th of this month, so I can play CTR finally. Twenty. Oh, shut up, Brandon. Bicycle. Wait, is it 26? Bicycle. Friday Bicycle. is when it starts. Yeah. Oh yeah, the freaking. God dang it, Brandon. That's why I was thinking of April 26th that one time, and then everyone called me bozo because they're like, "Why are you thinking of April 26?" <laughs> I hate you. Oh, I just destroyed this man's. No. But yeah, I can't wait till April 26th, even though I'm not going to be able to go on the 26th. Uh, but the the Saturday after that, I will be taking you to go play as well. All right. This is melee. I just triple shine this man. Uh, 
Eat the hot hole. Oh, he missed. Look at my bike, it's better than yours. Yeah. Well, I always hit my team. I laugh. Indeed, laugh up. Oh, game's still not over. No, they're just both being stupid. <laughs> I just took out the amiibos that have been eliminated. They're literally not even trying to pick up the Dragoon pieces. They're not, okay. are they? No, Bicycle. 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 Yes. Yeah. Much as you can. <laughs> da, 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 da. Will do. Absolutely. Wario needs to release <laughs> the poot. Yes, he releases poop. No, poot. Poot? Yeah, like fart. No, it's poop. Poot. Oh, he was trying hard. Really? Yeah. Put these speds are here. Year uh, after year. My, my Pac Man keeps me. eating them. Oh my god. I, 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 and yet, I, Wario was smart enough to stay in the thing. He ate Wario completely. He just munched him. <laughs> no, he. Now Wario's gonna. I can't believe Wario is going to try and eat him. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah. <laughs> that man almost died right there. Was he being stupid? Yeah, he fell in the water and it almost took him away, but then he saved himself. I'm not. Uh, there. I go above and beyond. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. You keep timing his jumps on my screen. You saying wah. <laughs> oh, oh, Wario nearly <laughs> screwed himself there. <laughs> he used his bike to fly under the fucking platform. <laughs> Every Anything time that eats Wario is in, in for a bad time. Volcano shits for days. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's true because Wario's molecular like structure is made up of garlic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in fact, Wario is probably the closest thing we can get to the ogre. They both Pac have a final just... smash. Oh, Pac-Man almost screwed himself. Now Wario's turn. <laughs> it's like who's gonna win? <laughs> oh, we still got Wario. Pac Man just nearly blew himself up. <laughs> what? Pac Man just destroyed his bike. Oh, and Pac-Man finally grabbed some of them. He's being bozo not grabbing the last piece. Wario is living junk food. Wait, Pac-Man started taunting? Oh, Lynn from Fire Emblem. Oh. Oh. It's over. Pac-Man got Man destroyed. Wins of Fire Emblem. <laughs> I 
I get green haired lady to win. Wario the wiener. I didn't even have to kill him myself. I was lazy like I like to be. Hey, Lynn, do you want to work for me? Look or at that victory stroke. <laughs> well, that anyways, we're on freaking round... We're on freaking round three. The quarterfinals. Yeah, exactly. Now we have Young Link versus Kirby. I got beamed in the public lobby. I was playing and freaking... I unplugged my phone by accident and I didn't notice, so my phone died. I'm all of the Skype call. I told you you'd get destroyed in your own lobby. I only lost by one stock. And Luigi, <laughs> it's time for you to die. <laughs> I only lost because I didn't win. <laughs> hey Luigi, it is time for you to die. <laughs> hey Luigi, you look like a human blimp. blimp. Oh no, let's see what he says here. Hey, who's that behind you? Made you look, made you look. <laughs> Get that victory stroke. Oh, oh here we here's one. Okie dokie, get ready to move your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what freaking me and Adam reference all the time. Get to the your fingers. Am I a what? Oh, Kirby killed himself. Look at those beautiful SNES graphics, Jesse. They're so great. Yes. And Kirby's being a dick, but <laughs> Young Link's Kirby... not having any of it. Kirby literally kicked the bomb. What the heck is this weird physics going on with Inkling's roller and the freaking Gusto? The Gusto Big Busto, oh or whatever God, that I call it. Gale of Wind. Buster! 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 Backslash! Backscratch! 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 That's actually what it sounds like on an actual 3DS, just. Backscratch! So. 3DS's are like tin cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to talk like Falco, and what ended up coming out was the freaking Sonic Rush song. There's a Sonic Rush song where they sample actual chanting. They actually sample Indian chanting. And it's just like half a second of them going da da da, like that, right? It's mm -hmm. literally like the sample is just da da da, and then they make an entire song around it in Sonic Rush. And literally the song just like da 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 It's freaking a weird song. It's too fast. I forget what too strong. Too fast. Too strong. He doesn't say too fast. He actually says too black. Too strong. It's actually too black. Too strong. Wow. And it, it actually is a sample from a Malcolm X speech. I'm not even joking. <sighs> what the fuck? It's very weird music, but I love it. Too black. Too strong. Too black. Too strong. The freaking speech too is freaking. Exactly what it seems, what it sounds like. Uh, being a dick he was man. comparing he was comparing racism to coffee, and that if it's too black, then it's too strong. That's, <laughs> and that's they, what the that's what the line exactly is. Like, so they have to add white sweetener to make it less strong. <laughs> it was a freaking white line. sweetener. That's not what he said, but like it was some like white coffee thing or something. Like it, it, the speech was just a, one big metaphor. But they sample sampled two clips of him saying how if the coffee is too black and it's too strong, and they put it together, and it's just too black, too strong, too black, too strong, too black, too black, too black, too black, too black, 
Too strong. It's freaking. Of course, Young Lake wins. Yeah. Young Spink. Yeah, Sonic Rush music is very interesting. It's made by the same guy who made Jet Set Radio music, so. And when it. I got an ant. Well, that would make and sense. Now, okay. Oh, Robin was yeah. apparently eliminated a long time ago. What's my problem? Rob. Alright, I gotta speaking... go to the bathroom. I'll be back. The boss fight theme is called Metal Scratching, and freaking, there's a voice line in it that's like, me, don't scratch me, me, eh, don't scratch me, me, eh, don't scratch me, me. It's freaking weird. It's like a very high pitched Don't voice. scratch me. Yeah. And then it's heavy metal in the background, and it's just like, dance, 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 Mock kick! Mock kick! Freaking, they should change it to cock kick. It would be much effective. Cock kick. <laughs> dance, 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 dance. I swear, I need to add a petition for Nintendo to whenever Dial gets summoned, it plays his theme. Like, just extremely loud. And the remix in Smash Ultimate is an amazing freaking remix of Dial's theme. Ding, ding. Oh wait, no wait. What is girls name? Ding, 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 I don't know. Wood the quick man man's theme so wrong. <laughs> quick man's theme is my favorite theme. Look at this man. He's called Wood. Wood man. It's almost like Pac-Man. It's twelve. Days. It's it's ten a.m. in the morning, and this man's got Wood. By the way, someone was extremely, extremely salty in Smash today, and they were being really angry at another person who was playing Pac-Man, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So like Pac-Man, it is a stupid name, Pac-Man. What what does he do? Does he pack the shite in people's ass? Pac-Man. Pack the shite in people's ass. He packs the men. That's so stupid. <laughs> it is it's stupid. Oh, is this man's dead? This match between this Inkling and Lucina has been going on for so long. Oh, get him, boys! Get him. Bwee. 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 Oh, no, the Inkling might win. You, On my screen, you said Bwee as Little Mac threw a Mr. Omelette. Or that is not at all what I said. Mr. I said, hey, Saturn. I said, oh, this Inkling might win. And then that came out as Inkling Omelette. <laughs> <laughs> Inkling but No, you just, you literally went point as uh, Little Mac threw a Mr. Saturn at Wolf. <laughs> that is not at all what I said. I said, <laughs> this, this Lucina and Inkling are fighting and oh, this Inkling might win. And literally, I have no idea how any of those characters got, in, got involved. Well, just the, no, just the sound you made. You were just like, boink. Boink. <laughs> yeah, you did Little Mac on Nick's stream through a Mr. Saturn, which I accidentally missed, called a Mr. Omelette. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Omelette. <laughs> He's a piece of popcorn. How do you get that confused with Omelette? <laughs> Is it really a piece of popcorn? No, but that's what, when I was little, I called him Popcorn Man because I didn't know the official name. When I played Brawl. Mr. Saturn is, I think there's just alien creatures or something. They're big nose, big head, brain man, so. Ah, yeah, it it's like, over for uh, Little Mac. Wah, wah. Yeah, Little Mac got a little, little slapped. Little Mac got beamed. Little Mac got his sack. The black dude from Bayonetta helped him. Bayonetta. 
I keep forgetting that dude's name, but he's like awesome. Oh, but... Sheik versus Isabel. Another chance for Isabel to get punched. You mean Rodin? Or Rodin, or however you say it? Yeah, Rodin. I think that's what his name is. Rodin. I'm gonna open these Blu rays. You know what I still haven't gotten done in the first Bayonetta game? Beat it? No, I beat that game. I just don't have enough money to fight Rodin. Oh. You, have to, like, ma you have to, like, max out your money counter before he's like, Shit, I'll fight you. <laughs> uh, he's, like, he's, like, actually the hardest boss in the entire fucking game. Well, is he just him? It's you, just, it's a just of you be him. And it is, he is so fucking overpowered. So is he just you, but better in every way? Pretty much. <laughs> well. But yeah, you literally have to sit sit there and grind out uh, the game to get the maximum amount of money. I had a dream that was actually really cool about Breath of the Wild once. I had a, um, after a long session of Breath of the Wild, I had a dream that, you know the weird skunty mask man? Or like, not the mask man. The weird, like, doc. Dark, no, the Dark Ogre Man, who sells you weird items from his ogre pack. You know oh, what I mean? fuck boy. Yeah. Yeah, him. What game was Freaking this again? Breath of the Wild. Oh. Like, you give him, like, monster parts and shit, right? Yeah, you give him gut. And, um, I, ha I was having, um, a weird dream about Breath of the Wild, and literally what happened in the dream was I was talking to this man, right? And I was trying to get the um, Dark Link freaking outfit, right? And he tells me, oh, I can't get that outfit yet because it's locked under some spell, so I can't give it to you, which is bullshit. And he said, the only way you could do it is by going through this temple in this mountain. And literally in the dream, on the side of like this mountain, you would go in inside of it. And you do like a puzzle to open the door. Then you'd go inside, and then it would be the Ocarina of Time room. Like, you know, with the tree and like the water. All in like HD, right? And you would fight like a Dark Link. And what, what I... That yeah, sounds it was, awesome. Yeah, it does sound awesome. And literally what happened in the dream, it almost looked like Unreal Engine 4, like the way it looked. Like it was like extremely realistic, and it was really cool, and it was playing like really like battle crazy music. And during the fight, when he goes into his second form, he jumps up and floats around in the air like Ganon and starts shooting the energy balls, and you have to whack them away. Like, it was actually a really cool dream, but then I woke up because I died. It was actually <laughs> a really cool <laughs> You just get hit in the face with a fireball. Die! <laughs> like, it was a really cool dream, but, like, it, it wasn't real. <laughs> and it's not in Breath of the Wild. It, dude, I fucking find it so funny whenever Link dies in Breath of the Wild. He's just like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it, It's still not the funniest death sound of them all. The funniest death sound of them all is fucking Leon when he goes, ah, ah. Oh, What about? Yeah. yeah, no, you just get like lightly tapped. Like, you just get hit by like a really insignificant insignificant attack, and Leon will just fall over and go, uh -oh! <laughs> One of my favorite, my favorite freaking um, voice line of Leon, and this actually is in RE4, it's actually in the RE2 remake, is literally when he just, randomly when you point your gun at a zombie, he just goes, you what bastard. <laughs> yeah, he goes, what the? Sometimes he just you just goes, You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It makes me laugh every time. I don't it's know why. It's funny sound, you, know, you just like, it's like silent, really tense gameplay. Points gun. You bastard. <laughs> Freaking someone was playing a game, right? Uh huh. Of RE2. I forget who it was. It was during, um, it was just like a compilation, I think, of people getting scared. Um, or something I was watching. And this one guy was playing it, and he was really freaked out, and he was, like, aiming around every corner. Then there was a zombie 
bashing against the like wooden planks of a door, right? And um, freaking the guy gets jump scared because you know how the zombies go. They like walk up and they go like, rah, rah, right? The, even if they're behind boards, they're just like, rah, rah. yeah, exactly like that. And someone they were playing and they got scared and they aimed right at their face. He's like, Jesus Christ! And then Leon's just like. You bastard. And then he starts laughing. It's just <laughs> funny. I never got you bastard. to say that. Jesus Christ! Isabel pocketed the tornado! <laughs> she controls all, even the weather. Like, um, Fairly Odd Parents that one time. Or no, I think she. I think the Fairly Odd Parents episode was that Timmy's mom. Oh yeah, yeah. It was the one where she uh, becomes a re a reporter at the like the weather station, and she keeps reporting wrong. So Timmy makes a wish that she always is right when reporting the weather. Yeah, and that like one. she is so and she's like so bad at reporting the weather, but she but it comes true no matter what. But then I guess the plot of the episode is that she's so busy with work that she's never home. So, and they can't just undo the wish. So, she decides to get fired by literally reporting apocalypse-style weather. She's like, there will be hail thunderstorms, and the hail will be the size of minivans. And then, like, when the hail falls down. Yeah, and then when the hail falls down, it's literally minivans. Just ice minivans. And then Jorgen's just like... What the fuck did you do? I got strangled. Timmy. And then, I, I think Timmy, the last thing she... You stupid fucker. I don't know what the second thing she reported is, but I think the third one was a massive earthquake. Uh, Isabel yeah. is out. Yeah, no uh, more Isabel. Did you know she Isabel... will continue the awesome trend. Did you know Isabel is F tier? And did you I'm, know that? I'm, I'm rooting for Fat Man again. Fat guy, did you know, is little coke. Did you know, Brandon, that many people uh, actually say Keach and Daisy are the best character in Smash Ultimate right now? Did the not. meta has been, the meta has been changing pretty. <laughs> it changes <laughs> like every day, it seems. Eh, it's really drastic at the beginning because everyone has opinions about everything, but now it's starting uh -huh. to slow down. Or still saying like Wolf, um, Pichu, and Peach are pretty much the top three. So and Inkling. So. Sprinkling. Vima. Baby. Kisses. I still wish that they would have had an Octo Wing skin. It's stupid that they don't. It's weird that, it's weird that they didn't. Like, they should have had two... They should have had an Agent 8 skin. And they should have had two girl inklings, two boy inklings, two octolings, um, boy ones, and then two girl octolings. <laughs> but they should have had three skins. Anyways, I'll be right back. Why are you slapping pans? Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. Go! Like when Wario I'm does that down smash. My finger. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Did he just do the Three Stooges eye poke? <laughs> oh no, his down oh. tilt. His Wario's down tilt is weird. He kind of just wipes the ground with his disgusting no, gloves. No, like, to me, it looked like, like he did the Three <laughs> Stooges <laughs> eye poking. The same thing Grandpa Phil did to Hitler in the Hey Arnold episode. You know how they actually do that effect? They just bat the eyebrows. Yeah, they do. In fact, I think they made a... I think a couple of times they demonstrated exactly how they did it so that kids wouldn't actually try to do the stunt for real. No, uh, they, they only did that at the end of the Three Stooges movie. Oh, okay. That... That was like the modern day one. Yeah, that one. 
<laughs> at the very end of the movie, they're like, by the way, this stuff is real. Don't actually do this to people. Don't actually poke your friend's eye out and make them I go think to the literally, hospital. I think literally in part of the thing, they're like, they pick up a fake sledgehammer and they whack the guy's head with the extremely hard. And then they're like, the end of this is actually rubber. Don't actually hit people with sledgehammers in the head. They would actually just be eviscerated. So. <laughs> Freaking. Gotta catch them all. Or taste the bar. Oh, Wario's got the final smash. S STD Mon, gotta catch them all. What? No. It sounds itchy and scratchy. <laughs> no, you gotta shre scratch Shrek's ass when you go fishing. I'd give you all of them. The only I'm thing pretty you'd be sure Shrek has point. his own undiscovered set of STDs. <laughs> he does! The only thing you'd be fishing for at that point is freaking ogre crabs. <laughs> you don't want any of those. So no fat man. That sucks. Damn. The Dang stupid me. fucking blue guy guy won. Blue blue guy. <laughs> gotta, gotta contract them all, STD mon. You would actually just straight up die. I wanna be extremely dead. <laughs> extremely <laughs> dead. Oh god. All right, who we're in the final four? Who are we rooting for? Uh, I don't go wolf, but Young Link is freaking a maestro, so Young Link might. I don't know. This looks like an interesting matchup. I mean, Young oh, Link, I, like freaking, I trained him today. <laughs> like I just freaking got him in the young... mail today, and freaking, I got him to level fifty, and it's like, oh my god, he's killing it. Freaking Young Link is a freaking prodigy. The amiibo prodigy. The amiibo savant. Oh, Mega Man died a long time ago. I know, he sucks. He fell off the first hole. That reminds me of a freaking Simpsons episode, Treehouse of Horror. Like, basically, Homer clones himself, like, makes, like, a million clones of himself. Mm -hmm. And, like, there's a whole, and then eventually, there's a point where the clones mutate, and there's, like, all these malformed clones that have all these mutations. And a gag they have during this scene is that you can clearly see that one of the malformed clones is Peter Griffin. Yep. <laughs> Oh wait! If I scroll back, there was actually. A oh no! Here's that. Here's that show's theme song. I wanna be the very best at catching STDs. <laughs> to contract them all is my real test. To spread them is my cause. Oh my <laughs> god! You're gonna be a serial murderer and you're going to prison. Goodbye. <laughs> Everybody has itchy crotch. All because of me. <laughs> oh my god, so freaking... <laughs> Why? What was I thinking? What was I talking about? Oh my god. Itchy crutch. You're talking about the Trias of Horror. Yeah, Trias of Horror. So I remember... So at one point, Homer decides he wants to be the one and only Homer. So he manages to lead all the clones off a cliff where they all fall and die. And then freaking Homer gets in bed with Marge and they're kind of getting jiggy with it. But then Marge quickly discovers that this Homer has a, ma has a deformity on his body. Like a very small deformity. And she's like, you're one of them. And then and what happened? And he's like, yep. And she's like, well, what happened to the real Homer? He was, And he's like, first one over the cliff. Wow. <laughs> Freaking, one of my favorite episodes is when Homer gets his hands. had a malformed penis. Freaking, one of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons is when he gets both of his hands stuck in freaking um, vending machines. 
And he's like, oh, I'm going to be stuck here for the rest of my life. And then the guy comes over with the saw. He's like, Homer, this isn't very easy to say, but I'm going to have to cut your arms off. And then Homer just goes, they'll grow back, right? <laughs> 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 and he's like, sure. Well. You know, I remember one of my favorite Simpsons episodes was Bart Gets an F. Oh. I remember when Bart was like, when Bart had to like start studying better to avoid flunking out of, I think he, he's in fourth grade, right? Mm -hmm. So he has to avoid flunking out of fourth grade, and he's like, the He's like, I swear, I, he's like, I swear I will do, I will do better and not get held back. Or something like that. And, so I don't know Bart's exact quote, but I know Homer's exact quote in response. And if not, well, at least you'll be bigger than the other kids. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Freaking, I know one scene where they were walking away from something and they were really sad. It's like they screwed up something in the episode. They like screwed up bad. Like the entire, like the two kids, Bart and Lisa were really sad and Homer and Lisa were there. You know, Homer and Marge, like the entire family was there. They were walking away. And then they're like, uh, Mar and like freaking Marge says on to Homer and she's like, well, Homer, don't you have anything to say to them? And then Homer's just like, All right, kids. Well, the lesson here is never try. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marge, look at my new invention. It puts makeup on. Suits oh. her. Homer, you had it set to whore. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking. Oh, I remember that one too. Oh my god, you know, one of the only good scenes in a modern right. Simpsons episode was the one where Homer tried to vote for Obama. Oh. <laughs> like, that was back in the 2008 election. Well. So, so he goes to an electronic voting machine, he presses the button, one vote for McCain, thank you. No, 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 I want Obama, two votes for McCain. No, I, I forget what he says here, and then he presses it again. Three votes for McCain. No, no, no! Six votes for President McCain. Hey, I only <laughs> met one of those votes. This machine is rigged! And then freaking a saw trap opens up from the machine as it starts sucking him in. He's like, this doesn't happen in America! Maybe in Ohio, but not in America! And it sucks him in, and he like, pretty much kills the shit out of him and spits him out. <laughs> <laughs> that was the McCain machine. Uh huh. Well, it was meant to be a joke about how some people theorize that the votings have been rigged ever since they started using electronic machines. <laughs> well. Like, it was especially controversial during the Bush, at the George W. Bush Al Gore election in 2000. Yeah. Freaking. Freaking, what was the thing? All right, give me a second. I'm trying to remember this thing. Oh, Sparrow posted the clip. <laughs> Freaking, there's... Okay, one of the things on the Simpsons was we're trying to give Bart meds, right? Like, I forget, but there, Bart had to take some meds for something, right? And Bart just goes, Dad, I admit I have some problems, but drugs aren't one of them. And then he just goes, Why are you little... <laughs> this is stupid. I remember when I was in seventh grade, we had a whole unit on Edgar Allan Poe. In, mm -hmm. in fact, I found out that my seventh grade English teacher still has the very same Edgar Allan Poe poster that she bought for his 200th birthday that year I was in her class. 
Mm -hmm. And during the unit, she even showed us the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror clip that adapted the Edgar Allan Poe story, The Raven. Yeah, we saw that clip too, actually. Um, we actually, wait, we actually watched that clip in, when we were doing our unit too, Snake. Funnily enough. So I actually know what you're talking about. All I remember is that it goes through the Edgar Allan Poe story as normal, but then at the end, but at the end when Bart won't leave Bart as the raven won't leave him alone, like freaking Homer does this, why you little? And he starts chasing around trying to kill him, but then Bart drops a couple of Edgar Allan Poe stories on his head and knocks him out. <laughs> Got a blast. I gotta say, this fight's close. What's with the Jimmy Neutron? It's our Jimmy Neutron. What, slap, slap, slap? Uh, no. Just literally the theme song recommended you to know, me for some reason. back of the theme song, right? Oh, is it over? It might be over. So, oh, it's not over. Oh. It's not over. So, you know, they were originally going to use the TV series version of the theme song in the movie, but then they ended up getting a professional band to do a re-recording of it for the movie. Hmm. And then the original version was just used in the TV show. Yeah, I think um, I remember you telling us that. Yeah, I probably didn't. I think I told it not long ago. Yeah, thought I told just Adam though. Might be wrong. Oh, uh, it might be over. It's over. Oh shit. Bye bye, sheep. Thanks. All right, our two finalists. Freaking, hello, freaking Mr. Burns and Smithers. There was this one point where they were going under inspection, and. Freaking a bunch of inspectors are coming up to Mr. Burns' office, telling them that the nuclear plant wasn't wasn't shaped up to be that are good. Are they right? equal on the freaking grid? Are they like? In, did they like start on like in the exact opposite sides? They are equals. Oh my god! There is one part where, in that scene, where freaking after he gets through a bunch of inspectors, there is one left. And then he was just like, well, Mrs. Lady, how about you go inspecting in this area? And then he pulls the secret lever, and then just the hatch moves and opens, but it's next to her. And she just looks down it, and then freaking Smithers is just like, sir, we moved the desks, <laughs> the desks over for the thing or whatever. It was stupid, and then he just walks up and kicks her down. So, Dwolf versus Lucario. Ben. Who's left? What? Who's, who's left in the tournament, actually? These are the only two. These are the grand final? Yeah, it's the grand final. The grand finale. By the way, Beware is probably my most hated Pokemon in all of Smash. It's so annoying when they fight against you. When you get Beware, it's like, alright. But freaking, when you're trying to go against someone who has Beware, it's just so annoying. Beware is the pink, pink raccoon bear that uppercuts you. Yeah, does, I saw like, it. It does like 80 damage per plunge, it's stupid. Wah, wah. Oh, he missed! He missed! Wolf, what are you doing? Wolf back. Baby him. Oh, 
You know, I should make a me named Bonesaw. I can do that. <laughs> um, Schnick, did you know there was a time when I actually entered to try and win a lifetime supply of Kraft macaroni and cheese? You did? I lost. What was the tournament? It was just the sweepstakes, right? Yeah, just the sweepstakes. I'm sure you remember it. Because I saw so many commercials for it, for it, and I was just like, I like mac and cheese. I'm going to enter. And then I didn't win any mac and cheese and I was very sad and disappointed. You didn't win any, well the only sweepstakes I tried entering was the Where's Gary one for Spongebob and I've told the story of how that turned out. Yeah. Now I'll try to scam you. Nick will sell your information and destroy you. Yeah because Nickelodeon cares so much about profiting on information. Uh huh. No we have Facebook for that. <laughs> Zuckerberg! Alright, Wolf, come on. Come on, Wolf, you're a real wolf. This He's man's probably gonna win, him. he still has two lives. Give him dust boot. Dust boot. Oh, now he didn't He's miss. It's over. It's over. It's all over now. It's over. <laughs> Hunter's on, boys. He's wiener. That is my impression of American advertising. Of American Thank advertising. You. Thank you so much for the playing the game. All right, well, there you have it. That's the Amiibo Tournament with the newbies. Young Link came so close, yet was so far. Oh. Ah. Well, he fucked up, so that's it. Oh, at this point, should we go on continuing? Because I might play Mario Kart or something. Should I keep this going, you mean? Yeah, I mean... Currently, you're the host of the stream right now. And I mean, well, I episode. think the episode can just end here. Yep. So, yeah, I'm going to end the episode. Maybe I'll resume this just as a normal schnick YouTube stream. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's it for number one. Fire Pie number, number one. Yeah, let's do number one for Kids Next Door. Yeah, hopefully... Um... All four of us will be around much longer next time because this is kind of an on the spot thing. And yeah, well, it's Adam, supposed to be an on the spot but, kind of thing. I kind of just wanted to test out the format a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and this will just most of the all, most if not all, this stream uh, will be all four. What? What'd you the say again? This, the most, if not all, of the streams will be all four of us together, and then other content would include maybe highlights and maybe documentaries. Yeah. Oh no, the documentary is, is probably just actually just um, what, confirmed. Yeah, the documentaries are confirmed. Those will be coming out. Yeah, maybe but I'll push Nickelodeon documentaries. So you never know. I might make a big Fire Pie like highlight clips thing where I take highlights of people's streams and then like because you know all the highlights that we make of our streams. Yeah. Sometimes <clears throat> I could just turn. I could like make a big conglomerate of a bunch of our streams and make like um, maybe like a five minute, seven minute videos and upload that to Fire Pie channel. And just be like this week's clips of the week or whatever. Mm-hmm. It could just be a thing to do. I mean, in yeah, we time. got plenty of plans in mind of what we could potentially do or not do, but one thing's for certain, it doesn't matter how talkative we are. 
Uh-huh. We ain't trying to keep a conversation going. We're just having fun here. Do we have a link to the channel? Yeah, we do. I actually need that link. And I'm supposed you know to be what? a manager, I'm but I'm I just want to try and find it now. I'm pretty sure you are a manager of it. I'm a manager. I know, and I just can't find it. It makes no what sense. What do you mean? All you have to do is get onto the fucking... All you have to do is click on your little name, and it will list I, all three of it. I've, I've tried, and it just doesn't. Fuck. See, me, I see vlogs for us, and then I just don't see... I just don't see um, Firepie. And yes, I am a manager, but it's not showing up, and it's weird. It's the big YouTube man. I hate him, I hate him, oh, I hate him. Oh, you spaced it. Hang on. I just hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Let me see. There, I sent the link because I'm logged into the channel right now. Damn it. Skink. Wah, wah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see everybody in whenever the next so-called episode is. Keep in mind, anybody could be a host, except for maybe me and Brandon. So, <laughs> a stream could happen So, I guess it's either me or Adam, Adam, usually. Yeah, because me and Brandon don't have good internet, so. You're just saying anyone could upload something to the channel, so that channel will be probably... Uploaded fairly regularly, so yeah, all four of us are gonna be well, not really working on it, just throwing whatever we feel like on it. So he only sees the link to chat on screen. Sparrow, are you using um live chat or are you in top chat? Because you have to change it to live chat if you haven't. Live chat is. Weird. Like, top chat is not a thing that should exist. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, he I, is on live, then I don't know. I approved the message. The message was marked as spam, and I had to approve it. Da, 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 there da, it is. Da, 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 da. Subscriptions. Subscribe. Oh, yeah, freaking... Oh, my God, Brandon. I like how all, the only thing it shows is the subscriptions, and it's just you. <laughs> he yeah. sees it now. Okay. So that'll be the end of today's episode. I'm not sure when another one will happen. Just whenever. Okay? <laughs> all right, I can sign this off. Bye-bye. Just bye, that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye in the fire pie. Uh, play a game of fire pie. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, that's it. <laughs> also, the channel name is A Fickle Fire Pie Podcast. Period. A Fickle. Oh, I see. A Fickle Fire Pie Podcast. Period.